Good evening, or sorry, <laughs> still not quite used to this yet. Uh, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we're going to play Spaceborn Part 2, the sequel to Spaceborn, which I streamed a few weeks ago and absolutely loved. It was so good and so well done. I haven't really investigated yet. I haven't played off stream. I've seen a little bit of write-ups, a little bit of uh, a few write-ups about it, a few, you know, landing pages for videos about it I haven't actually watched the videos but the sheer amount of stuff going on in this game that's different than the first game let's just say i um i mentioned in the discord that i'm leaving open the possibility that we're going to switch games from this game to the breath of the wild later on so that we can continue making progress in that one in advance of tears of the kingdom but it's only a possibility and from the little bits that I've seen of this game so far, I really kind of doubt that we're going to end up switching over. <laughs> I think we're probably going to play this all day. So just give me half a second here. It's still pretty cold here, so I need all my blankets. So we're just going to have a cozy space adventure this afternoon. Okay. We want PC today. And we need Steam. I think I've got stuff fixed up. I think resub alerts should work. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure I got that fixed. Sentinel, Tagarung, how's it going? It's good to see you folks. I hope all is well today. So we're going to check out Spaceborn Part 2. Let's get this going. Now, I did launch it last night just to see if I could get it set up for stream. We'll have to see how it runs. It's currently set up to run in 4K. And sometimes that causes issues. Sometimes I can't stream games when I'm running them in 4K, so I might have to quit and restart it. But... Um, other games run no problem. Since I haven't tried playing this one, I have no idea which it's going to be. Doing good, getting ready for bed. Oh, you have to work tonight. I'm sorry to hear that, Tagarong. That sucks. Okay, well, it's good to see you for a bit anyway. Let's see. Uh, I've already got the settings set up as best we can. We're going to do a brand new game since I have nothing to load. Oh, okay, this is already quite different. We get a lot more emphasis here on our character stats, it looks like. So we've got a few skills under soldier, and, or there are more traits than skills. Under soldier, pilot, adventurer. That looks like that's the list so far. How are the audio levels? How's the game compared to my voice? Is it still loud? People told me it was loud yesterday. Uh, actually, I'm kind of muting and unmuting the system. Uh, let me know which is louder, which is better. I can adjust everything, but I need to kind of get a baseline. So let's see. There we go. I find myself still awake at this late hour, though I figured I'd drop in and say hey, go and wave. <laughs> How's it going, with the Winters? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for 63 heckin' months. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you as well for confirming that I have indeed finally managed to fix the sub alerts. Although I don't love the way that the, um, the messages are displayed. I might have to see if I can customize that to some extent. Okay, so we've got Perception, Endurance, and Agility under Soldier. Reflexes, Willpower, and Alertness under Pilot. And Intelligence, Luck, and Coordination under Adventurer. Alert was a little on the loud side. Okay, I can drop that to some degree. 
we'll try there and see how that goes. Thank you very much for letting me know. Uh, okay, so it looks like I've got 35 points to distribute. Let's put all of these up to 10. Intelligence. Experience bonus for all classes. Anomaly analysis. Trade. Crafting efficiency. Dialogue bonuses. Loot drop chance and quality. Okay. I might end up boosting our intelligence a bit more. Luck. Probe scan accuracy, probe distance, scanning level, crafting efficiency, and probe speed. So both of them affect crafting efficiency. Coordination. Misac misactor efficiency. I don't know what that is. Salvaging, contracting, mining, drone damage and armor, and drone speed. So this is probably less important. I'm probably going to put less emphasis on coordination, but intelligence and luck seem very, very good for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm okay, Winters. I didn't sleep as well as I'd hoped last night, but I didn't sleep too badly, so it's okay. I'll be fine. Especially with a good new game to check out. So let's check out our pilot stuff. <clears throat> Reflexes, critical hit chance, damage boost, critical hit damage, fire rate boost, weapon accuracy, and projectile speed. So I'll probably want to boost that as well. Willpower, shield boost, armor boost, shield recharge weight, rate, damage resistance, damage absorb chance, and shield reboost time. So that's interesting that you can just basically will your ship to be more resilient. And then alertness, energy regeneration rate, energy ship speed, thruster fuel, thruster regeneration rate, and warp speed. I think we're going to probably end up focusing a lot on intelligence and luck. Perception, range damage, damage over time, melee damage, critical chance, critical damage, and accuracy. You know, I always like to be perceptive. Max hit points, armor, reflection, resistance, absorption, party damage, boost, and agility, movement speed, energy, hit point recovery rate, armor repair rate, energy recharge rate, and party energy, party energy boost. Okay. So we're going to do that, and that leaves me 11, so I'm going to do that, and yeah, we'll go with that. Ben Fleet Games, how's it going? Good to see you. Okay, I think we're going to start with this. Background. And now we actually choose our class. So we might go back to attributes and adjust this, depending on what we find. You joined the X-World's pirate organization to escape the monotony of life in a, the small commune you grew up in. At first, you were content with small missions that filled your pockets, but you quickly grew bored of looting small trade ships. You yearn for bigger and better things, and you're willing to take risks and break rules to get what you want. So that's pirate. Captain. You've always been a natural leader, and you've decided to pursue a career in the military to make a difference. However, after being stationed in a distant galaxy, you witnessed the mistreatment of fellow Earthlings at the hands of alien oppressors. You lift the, left the military to join a resistance group and have since become a respected commander in the fight for justice and freedom. Not going good? I am very sorry to hear that. What's going on? Freelancer. You value your freedom above all else and have built a career out of traveling from planet to planet, lending your skills to those in need. You're a jack of all trades and are willing to take on any job as long as the pay is right. While you don't have a permanent home, you find... You find we can't seem to... We can't scroll down to read the rest, sadly. So we don't know what we find. Freelance contracts. So this is, freelancer is basically the career that I pursued in my first, my, my playthrough of the first game. Mercenary. Oh no, Ben, I am so sorry. 
Oh, crap. Well, I hope this at least provides a place to distract you a little bit so you can chill out and, um, as much as that might be possible, at least, you know. Wow. My condolences. That's awful. Uh, okay, so, mercenary, explorer. You've always been drawn to the unknown, spent your life charting unexplored territories, discovering new worlds. While you face many dangers and setbacks along the way, you find the thrill of discovery and the possibility of uncovering something truly groundbreaking to be worth the risks. 10% greater accuracy for probe scans, 10% faster speed for probes, 20% faster warp speed when traveling within a star system, 30% faster warp speed when jumping to other systems. That's probably the one we're going with. That's the one I'm most curious to try out. Money is power. Realizing that the rich rule the entire galaxy, you realize the main power comes from money and that victories with weapons are only temporary. You set up a merchant fleet and set out to become the wealthiest person in the galaxy. I think we're gonna go explore. So it looks like probe scans and warp speed within systems are the big things for this. So maybe instead of reflexes, we go up on the alert scale. Oh, wow. We're not going to spend a ton of time on character detail, but wow, this is pretty good. So you really can't do a lot with the body, but you can do a fair bit with the face and the hair. Now, do they have different hairstyles at all, maybe? It doesn't really look like it. Oh, actually, yes they do, never mind. Kind of like that one. We're going to go with that one. That looks pretty good. Okay. What's a good name for an explorer? keep coming back to Uncharted with Drake, so maybe... Okay. We'll go with that and see what happens. Okay, this is quite different. This looks really good. It's about time you woke up. The burden of doing nothing all day must take a toll on you. Come see me at once. We need to talk. 
Well, it's a little heavy on the distortion there, but that's cool. Ah, uh, so we do have a stamina bar for running. This looks very Tatooine inspired, I like it. Or even, not so much Tatooine, maybe more Jakku. <laughs> F to interact, oh that's weird, I always want to instinctively use E. It's been four moons. I know, I know. When do you plan on paying my rent? As soon as I can. There aren't any good prospects right now. I promise I'll pay a full year's rent when a decent bounty comes up on the want list. Why don't you consider doing more rookie work? Our connector always has many freelance jobs available. When was the last time you spoke to him? I talk to him every day, but I can't find a suitable job for my ship. Be quiet and listen to me for once in your life. You know how much I love you, and how much respect I have for your father. I can't good conscience allow you to continue wasting away your life like this. I've let things slide for far too long. It's about time that you started carrying your own weight around here, so I need you to do something for me. You will go and get a freelance job from Connector. Okay. Good luck. Okay, okay, okay. Talk with Quest Giver. I think it's pretty clear that uh, they're using AI voice synthesis for this. Which, you know, it would be pretty crap if this were a major AAA game, but I'm glad that it's available so that smaller developers actually can get voice acting into their games, even if it's not perfect. Speaking of Jakku, kind of cool that Daisy has an opportunity to take the role of Rey once more. I'm really excited that she's doing that. I know she gets a lot of hate, but that's because it's the internet, and the internet sucks a lot of the time. I am really looking forward to seeing her back in that role again, and just carrying the story forward past the end of what we've seen. Because too often, all of these big things, they just want to kind of explore and fill in gaps in the past without actually advancing things further. So I'm excited to see them go forward. Hey, Quest Giver, do you have any interesting jobs I can do? Uh, hello? As a matter of fact, I was looking for a pilot to take an old woman to the Ferrand station. Uh, got anything with more action? My guns are rusty. They can use a little laser lubing if you catch my drift. Well... There is this one combat mission, but they specifically requested a minimum of SX for class ships. What is my ship's class? That thing shouldn't even be categorized as a ship. <laughs> it's made up of so many different ship parts. I couldn't even begin to guess its class, let alone its usefulness. You know it's a miracle it hasn't torn itself apart just leaving the atmosphere. Fine. Are there any other missions then? Yes. The old woman transporting mission. It is much more safer for both of us. All right. I'll take the passenger transportation mission. Okay. Great. Give me a second to set it up. Okay. Great. Give me a second to set it up. Oh, it looks like Lara grabbed that mission while we were talking. That's too bad. I guess we have no choice but to take the combat mission. Okay. I'm going to stick my neck out a little for all time's sake. But if anyone asks, just say you made a false statement about your ship's glass. I don't want to lose my license over your crazy antics. Thanks, Questgiver. I owe you one. Don't make me regret this. Good luck. Get your ship. I'm very curious to take a look at this heap of rusty bolts at this point. Uh, 
Yep, okay, it really doesn't want me going that way. Well, it certainly is a ship. That's cool. Okay. I like it, actually. This looks pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, get your ship. Now what? <laughs> Take off, R. Landing gear attracted. Whoa. It's very maneuverable. You can switch camera with C. Hold Z to toggle free look camera. It really doesn't want to just go straight up. First, open the scanner interface. Here you can see the locations to warp. Then set a target by clicking it. After choosing a target, close this interface, find your chosen target in space, and lock it. First open scanner interface with the T key, select a warp target, close the scanner interface, lock the target with the lock key, default middle mouse button, change the warp engine with thruster input, default left shift. Okay. This looks similar to the screen we had on the other game. Although this looks much nicer. Scanner. Catcher, merger, booster, surfacer. I wish it still had our objective stuff here. So I presume that this is us. Escape route. Select mining station as warp target. Okay. Come on. Okay. Lock on a warp target with middle mouse button. Press and hold left shift to charge. Okay. Middle mouse button doesn't appear to be working. Okay, so I assume that means we're locked in now. Okay, we seem to have some difficulties here. It doesn't want to lock my target, and I wonder if that's because we are, you know, on 
we're, we would on that course be passing right through a sun, which might not be the best thing in the world. Ship, character, gamepad, settings, defaults. Okay, well. Um. No, see, we're not. Oh, okay. Calibration module activated. There we go. Calibration that was a little confusing. Completed. Waiting for the thruster input. That's not too bad, though. Once you get the trick to it. AI voices are pretty good so far. Very acceptable for a one-person project. Exactly. Yeah, I actually like it. It's good. you here on scout mission? I specifically requested those with ships above SX for. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure you can complete this task with this floating junk. Rude. Just show me where to shoot. Don't rush. Let's make sure the ship is in good condition first, shall we? Let's start. Can you move right and left? Good. Let's see your hover thrusts. R O. Nice. Now give me some rolls. Now let's see if your turbo thrusters are in good shape. Not bad. Finally, let's try dodge moves. Your engine seems stable. Let's check your combat systems. Let's activate your weapons. Tap to activate I'm sending weapons. you a target with no shield, so you can easily destroy this target with your turrets. Now activate your turrets weapon group. Okay. Beautiful. Now let's try a target with shield. Activate your laser weapons. Not bad, but it is easy to hit stationary points. For dynamic targets, you should first lock it. Now lock the target I sent. Good. Since you're using a fighter-class ship, we need to check the pursuit systems as well. Let's try it now! Try to use your lasers to shut down the target shield. Oh. Very over -seary. Good. Now switch your weapon group on and destroy its hull. Combat is a lot more involved in this. Well done. I think you are good to go. I guess you're the pilot who took the job. We have been seeing unusual activity in this asteroid field for a while. Unidentified scout ships patrolling the area. We want you to take care of them. Okay. Yeah, combat is a little more complicated than it was in the first game. But that's probably going to be okay, because I don't know that I'm going to focus as much on the combat in this one. I'm really interested in the exploration life, heading out into the unknown and seeing what the worlds are like. Which is not to say that we're not going to do any combat at all. I'm sure we will do plenty of it, but... Oh, 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 hello. She will recharge. Target shield is down. Target destroyed. 
good job. Okay, where? Ah. There you are. Station operated, but station. destroyed by an asteroid impact. I see a movement there. We need to find out what they're hiding there. Would you sneak up there and check it out? Okay, where are we? It doesn't appear to be on our scanner. I guess we're just gonna go there. Yeah, hopefully winters. I mean, it's not that bad. Once you get used to it, it, it kind of sounds a little worse than it is because they throw all these term terms at you and all that kind of stuff, but it's really just knock out their shields with your lasers and then once the shields are gone, spray them with bullets till they die. And it's pretty simple. It's more complicated than it was in the first game, but it's really only one extra step. I don't believe it. They set up a secret base here. Watch out. They shouldn't notice you. Or they can destroy everything, including you. Try to get close. Okay. We can do that. Watch out. They set up turns around. I see your ship as a cove part. Use it now. That's cool. Good. I like now that. Move slowly and don't fire any weapon, or they can locate you. We have to get into that building, but you can't get there with your ship. Uh, I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. Okay, we're going EVA, guys. I found a blind spot for your ship. You should leave your ship there and get off. From ship, hold G. I see you don't have any weapons on you. Let's find you some firearms. <laughs> Give me a second. Wouldn't it have been a good idea to I check that beforehand? Ammunition there. Go and equip them before the encounter. Where is that? It's nice to see that we're on such a well planned and organized expedition here. Oh, I like the gravity boots. Very nice. Good. Now go to that platform and neutralize the pirates. Hang on. You can't send me to this cargo platform and expect me to not check everything out. That's just ridiculous. According to common opinion, this game generally strikes a decent balance between simulator and arcade-ish action gameplay. Yeah, that that uh, that actually sits well with my impression so far. Okay, where are we going now? Can I steal one of these cargo loaders? Like to hop 
in, please. No. No. Okay. Suck. game settings if I want to engage in the content of the latest update. I've set my universe to be very peaceful. I haven't tried the new No Man's Sky stuff yet. I'll be very curious to hear your impressions of it. Uh, are we good? Oh, we want to hack the black box. So we have to go inside. Okay. sitting just completely open, so I guess that's kind of mood. Back! Good job! Clear the landing pad. Watch out! There's a watch! Get cover! Oh, God! In what way, Aranor? Also, it's good to see you, Aranor. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. How's that? Okay. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Thank you. Yeah, that was actually pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever played a game before where you could just leap off of things and go back to your ship by blasting yourself through space before. That that was pretty awesome. No Man's Sky needs stuff like that. Uh, where are we going? We're going to AXA. Okay. Is AXA on our... There it is. Okay, so... It might be too close to warp. Think I've only played one game with realistic EVAs like that? Yeah, it's really neat. I like this a lot so far. I really enjoyed the first game. I've got to say, this one's a little more complicated, but I think it's so far in a good way. Something's going on. Do I not have that set? to learn and remember about this game so far. Oh, there's a green gauge there on the side, on the right-hand side that's filling up. I think that's why I keep losing thrust. Just continue at regular speed for the time being. You can toggle landing you gear with the N key. When the landing gear is deployed, align the ship and hover down as you approach the landing site. The ship will dock when the landing gear collides with the surface. If you have trouble finding an empty landing pad, you can interact with the station and request it to reserve you a landing pad. Okay, well, we're not going... Oh, wait, that... Oh, that is where we're going. <laughs> I thought we were going back to a planet. 
So it said landing gear with the N key, right? Landing gear deployed. Okay. Now do we want that surface or the other surface? Kinda looks like this surface. Great job out there. Now any criminal will have to think twice before attempting to steal from us. I'm going to transfer the money to your account. Thank you. Hey, I just noticed that robot head on the table over there. What's the story behind it? This old thing. It's an old piece of junk I found in the remnants of an old battlefield. Come to think of it. It was right in the system on the moon 189 to 1. It turned out to be useless, though. I couldn't detect any signs of activity in it. Why do you ask? Oh, it just looks oddly familiar. Since you're not using it, would you consider selling it to me? Why are you so interested in it? It must be of some sentimental value. <laughs> Here's a counteroffer. How about you take the head, and I keep the money I was going to pay you? Is there any way you can tell me more about it? Where exactly did you find it, or were there any more robot parts? I've already mentioned where I found it. As for more parts, I could find none. But then again, I didn't stick around there too long. It's not exactly the safest of places. But if you want to risk going there, be my guest. I'd added the location to your scanner. See, I like this. This is the kind of exploration I want. Thank you, sir. Just be aware, though. I'm not sure if you've ever been to an old battlefield. Those places can be a very dangerous maze. You never know what you're going to run into. I wouldn't go there alone if I were you. Where can I find help? Well, you're in luck. I just happen to be in a good mood today. It just so happens that I need to collect some things from that area. If you clear the area of any undesirables, I'll gather the drone parts for you while I take care of my own business. Use a hammer on the unexplored ordinance to test if they're still alive. That's an excellent idea. I think we'll do that. Great. Send me a signal when the area is cleared. Good luck. Okay, guys. We have about three to four minutes before ads begin, so I will be taking a quick break at that point. Alright, so where to? Um... Mining station. That doesn't look like my mental picture of a mining station, but I guess that's okay. Escape route. Debr oh, okay, so it's got to be this debris here. So we're going to go there. That looks like that's pretty close. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. They don't warmly welcome you to do work in their area. That's why you should get rid of those salvagers first. Okay. 
Uh, before we do that, though, it looks like it's about time for me to start that break. So if you guys will bear with me, I'll be about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink, maybe some lunch, whatever you need to do, it's a really good time to do it. And I'll be back in just a few. The RO recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I'm speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. That doesn't look scary at all. I expect there's going to be zero problems with this. This is fine. This is going to be totally okay. Surely this can't be a good idea. No kidding. That's not what I was expecting. Way to go, Ace. You blundered your way to within range of the pirate's jello gun. You suffocate in an impenetrable block of jello. Now, it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city, because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go whichever way they want, and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. I have to leave him here. He's going to get shot to death if I don't. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag dulling? Holy crap. You gain XP for cleaning things up? That's actually kind of cool. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> what in the world? This is why you got to be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Ah, jeez! Oh god! 
That was not the best plan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um. Down you go. At least I got meat. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay. Right into it then. Oh, whoops. Whoa, that was close. Oh, God. This is chaos. This is why I really don't want to focus on the combat in this game. We're going to be an explorer. Not a privateer. Get back here. Ow. Oof. Get your uh, where there. Nope. Oof. Fine, this is okay. Thank you, Aaron Lauren of uh, Three Winters. Get him. Is that it? Are we clear? No, we're not. Okay. while he finds the robot's missing parts. That kind of implies we're going to have again. more stuff to fight. Okay, let's start. Interesting. I'm getting signal from the head part. I think it's trying to redirect us to other parts. I like this guy's voice. 
I was right. I already found the first part. I think it's a leg. Pod. Can't get distracted with that right now. We have company. Do we? Shield recharging. Oh. Where are they? Oh, here we go. This is atrocious. Why are you not getting hit more? Target shields down. Thank well, you. Overheat. Shield has to stop closing. I need some distance to shoot accurately. Just die already. Target destroyed. Thank you. <laughs> I found another one. You are so dead. It is not good. Hold them as long as you can. Uh, that's find quite a few of them. In a couple minutes. Wait, hang on. I did not sign up to fight a capital ship. Get involved? Like we're not already? Oh my god.
place as soon as possible. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. Hey, Space Vikings, how's it going? <laughs> Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, warp away. Yes, that's a very good idea. We are going back to the mining station. Mining station, but I don't care. We're going. Hurry up. Any minute now. Thank God what you want. I know someone who specializes in mechanics. A more than named Snap. He was working at Sonic Station in the Zonix Air system. This game is Good pretty intense so far, Axa Vikings. Out. Thank you, Axa. Okay. Go to the Zonix Air system via Stargate and dock at the Sonax system. We haven't even started getting into the stuff yet that I want to experience, and it's already really fun. It's so far been very similar to the first game, but better. So that's cool. Nope, come on. There we go. Stargate, where are... Where are you? I think it's on the wrong side of the planet. We can't really warp right through that. I don't think. Uh, yeah, it's obstructed. Okay, so we need to... We need to go somewhere else. Where can we go? I was trying to warp to the mining station. We'll go back here. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Think I'm ready to use sleep. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Gonna keep it playing on my phone so you can fall asleep. Oh, thank you so much, Winters. Have a great night. I will catch you again soon. Okay, so here's the mining station again. That's where we met Axa. We don't need to go there, though. We now want to see if we can warp directly to the Stargate. So where is the Stargate warp point? Hello? Stargate? Oh, hang on. Is that you? That's it. Okay. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting nope. for the thruster input.
Aren't most stargates on planets and you have to dial and stuff? Well, I mean, that doesn't mean it's the only way to build them. For this, first, open the Galaxy Atlas. Select a system and press set route. Then close the Galaxy Atlas. Press H default key to activate the mouse cursor. Select the Stargate from the list in the right corner. Ask Press permission to use the Stargate. The mouse cursor and select the Stargate from the list in the right corner. When your permission is approved, a path will be drawn for you. When you follow this when path your to the end, is approved, a path will be drawn for you. When you follow this path to the end, Stargate sends you to the next system on the route. Okay. So it might take a bit of travel then. Here's a sigh for you as I leave. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, Aranar. Okay, Galaxy Atlas. Uh, we might have to look that up because it did not actually tell us how to do that. Interface. Inputs. Journal J. Where is the galaxy thingy? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to Google this one real quick. There's a million YouTube results that might tell you how to do it, but I need something... How the heck? Okay. Um, gotta go pick up my mom, help her with her errands. We'll be lurking. Have a good stream if I'm not back before you're done. I should still have another good four and a half hours, maybe five hours before I'm done. So I'm, I'm sure I'll they'll be around but have a fantastic day if not thank you so much for hanging out vikings um oh god why is this so difficult uh go to the xanaxer system by a stargate and dock at the xanax system but it didn't tell you how do you how do you access the galaxy atlas thingy <laughs> interaction cursor h come on h Oh, no, let's, let's maybe not eject. That's probably bad. Okay, so that gives, oh, hang on. Hang on, Galaxy Web. Galaxy Trade. Guilds, Diplomacy. Cargo contracts. Rebuilding a friend. Morthra Security 2 set route. Show in Atlas. Okay, this is a neat interface. This looks very No Man's Sky. 
Where is it we want to go? We want to go to... Q set route. No mission in that system. Okay, so that's not where we're going. Oh, I think that's the system that we're already in. Available contracts, rebuilding a friend. Okay, so that's what we want to do. Now we want to set route. Show route at main screen. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait, did I hang on? Pilot. Why do I have this rank symbol here? Oh, because I I gained points because I'm such an awesome pilot, obviously. Perks. Time diversion slows time by 70% while drift is active. Hold drift input to activate. Warp speed increases warp speed by 25%. More energetic increases ship's total energy by 25%. Less energy reduce the energy used by the ship perks by 25%. Experience give tw oh 12.5% more experience. I want that one. Definitely taking that one. Okay, that's cool. I like that a lot. Now, we still have a little bit of a problem here in that I managed to set our course, but now what? How do I contact and request permission to use the Stargate? This is the next thing. No. Okay, so that was I. Um, would it be diplomacy? Battle news, favorites? No, okay. Marthra, all these different factions, that's pretty cool. Contracts. Okay, so that's back here again. Uh, target, found system, da, 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 show route. Okay, so we've got the route set, but now what? Route setter? We already should have that. Search engine. So far, this is probably my biggest complaint. The Stargate system is really confusing the first time you try to use it. I'm sure it's plenty easy once you know what you're doing. I clearly don't know what I'm doing yet. And it's not being especially helpful in trying to let me know how to do it. So, uh... Okay. Oh, come on. All right, the ship just wants to spin. Signals. Stargate. Oh, jump to next route. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process.
Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Like I said, once you know it's not bad, until you know, it's horrifically confusing. Have a nice journey. Destination reached. Okay. Okay. That could be worse. Go to the Zonazair system by a Stargate dock at the Sonax Station. Sonax Station. Where is Sonax Station? Sonax Station is here. Oh, Navin is the planet. Okay, so we want to go here. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Zonax Station, or Sonax Station. Nevin's an ice planet with 7.8.08 meters gravity with light snow and surface average wind speed is high. Okay. But I specifically want Sonax Station. How do we get to Sonax Station? I don't want the planet. It won't let me specifically target the station, which is a little weird. I don't have to actually try to find it on the surface, do I? And that could be odd. Uh, let's try scanning signals again. That's how I ended up getting the permission thing for the jump. We are not getting any signals whatsoever. That's awkward. So we have nothing there. Dock at the Sonax station. Why is everything so confusing? Well, let's see what happens if we try to break atmosphere into the planet. Not sure what's happening exactly. I can't really see a whole lot, and I can't seem to steer or stop. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, well, that... That looks potentially encouraging. Landing gear deployed. Okay, I gotta say, atmospheric flight, not quite up to the No Man's Sky standard. I feel like I'm tethered to the ground. gonna try to land right over here oh no no oh cool jeez come on come on right here right here Or maybe it just will not let me go there. I don't know. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear deployed. No, okay, so they basically they've got this city settlement thing. Landing gear retracted. It's in some kind of a semi visible energy box, which presumably means keep the heck out. So where is the Sonak station then? Like we're gonna leave orbit again or enter orbit again, I guess. Okay. <sighs> well, <clears throat> not entirely sure what to do about that. Weapons online. No. Not weapons. Not weapons. No, no, no weapons, please. Not at the moment. So there's a trade hub over here. Bay of Faction hangar. Okay. I think... Yeah, okay. I think I managed to just get the station as my target now. There it is. Okay. This will hopefully be a much easier then. Calibration module activated. 
Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. It's just a slightly awkward interface. The planet really wants to take the focus instead of the station. Landing gear deployed. There we go. Now, where exactly do we actually land? That's the next question. This does not look conducive to landing. Oh, but there is a signal. Hello? Signal? Docking request. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. I have no idea what she said. Something about special services, but we're not going to worry too much about that. We're just going to go land. Dock at port. There we go. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. There we go. Ship manager. Explore the unknown. Join Explorers Guild. That's yes. Please, I would like to do that. Components. Components. Justice will prevail. Bounty Hunters Guild is recruiting. Ships. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Oh, I like that. It's like a mini Star Destroyer. Black Ops class. I love it. Okay, so let's see. Fighter, fighter, Black Ops, fighter, 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 Black Ops. Oh, that one's kind of neat, too. Fighter... Command. Twenty six million one hundred eighty nine thousand three hundred two TUI. Even this thing is a million. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy those just now. How much money do I even have? Character. You're not on the wanted list. Excellent. So what do I have? What is this? this is Lumsy. Upgrades, probes, cargo. Oh, I have a thousand bucks is is what I've got. Okay. Where's this Explorer's Guild? I would like to interact with that, please. How do we join a guild? Landing port 2, elevators, more components. It 
It's Nebula. Services. Catcher, merger, booster. Detects all signal echoes in the solar system is used to determine which region to scan before detailed scanning. I can't afford any of that. Security. Captives on ship. Living quarters and marketplace. Explore. Exploring the cosmos. Join the Explorer's Guild. How do I join the Explorer's Guild? This is what I want. We have to talk with Smen. I like the stations a lot more than the first game. I mean, in fairness, they looked pretty good in the first game. But... This is definitely much bigger and much more involved and feels more like a real place. Okay. Jessica, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hammer, what's going on? Sorry if it took me a minute there. Or five minutes. I've been a little caught up. How are you doing? It's wonderful to see you. Components. I'm doing pretty good today. This is a really fun game. Man. Scan systems. Really? Nothing? Kit, shield booster, energy kit, podcaster, omniferer defensive pack, stellar scanner boss. Yeah, see, I can't afford any of this. Enhance your ship's ability to scan and gather information with our scanner component. It can be installed via services panel. Okay. I need cash, is the impression that I'm getting here. Let's talk to Smen. What's going on, Smen? How can I help? I have a robot that's been cut into pieces. Can you put these pieces back together and make them work? Of course, that's what I do for a living. Let me see the pieces. So how have your streams been going, Jessica? I hope all has been well lately. What have you been playing? Now that's a beautiful thing. It's been decades since I've seen a similar model. It must be more than 50 years old. Fascinating. Yes. I can do that, but it will cost you both time and money. How much money and time? Okay, if I should be repairing this guy, it will cost you something for sure. You need to understand that it's pretty hard to get the right spare parts, but I fear that without those, I won't be able to get him back to life. Now it depends on you. I could do that for you, but it will cost you a significant amount of TY, and it will take at least two hours, but I've got a proposal for you. Instead of paying me, you could do a small job for me, while I'm putting your robot back together. Otherwise, just pay me 600 TY and come back later. That's not 600, buddy. I mean, if it's just 600, I'll gladly pay that right now, but I don't have 6,000. What's the job? It is easy as I said. I have not been able to reach a friend for a while who has been living on planet Zunvars. I want you to check him out for me. Go to Koron's lab at Zunvar's planet. ESO during event time is difficult to play other games, but when it ends, I may play the demo for Slay the Princess and then another hard game. My cycle is that ESO event, then a new game when no event. Very nice, Jessica. 
There's so many new games right now, it's got to be hard to choose the new ones. We've got, look, this is supposed to be the slow season for game releases, but we've got Burning Shores, the DLC for Horizon Forbidden West, coming out. There's Tears of the Kingdom coming out. Star Trek Resurgence is coming out. And I'm probably overlooking several others as well. There's just so much stuff coming out just in the immediate near future. Great. I'm adding the location of the place where he lived to his scanner. Please let me know as soon as you reach it. Okay. Coming through. Important business. That looks very awkward. travel. I think it literally just fast traveled me to where I came from. What the heck? Landing port one, two, three, four. I think I was on four. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Go to Koran's lab at Zunvar's planet. Okay. Landing gear attracted. Just get some space between us and the station so we're not blocking up the space lanes. Zunvar's planet, okay. We don't want the planet though. We want to get closer. Oops. Koron's lab at Zunvar's planet is the deal. Well, let's, I guess we'll go to the planet first and then we'll figure out where the station is in relation to it. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Sketchy, it's going good. How are you doing? I am glad to hear that. Okay.
layer of leaming of um, village, pit of Boncor, pit of Orion, pit of Ashbolt. There's a lot of pits. A planet with zero gravity? That seems unlikely. With thunderstorm on surface, average wind speed is pretty high. Hope you don't have to make a pit stop. As a matter of fact, I do. But... As far as I'm aware, we're not going to a pit for the pit stop. We're trying to go to a station. Or actually, more technically, a lab. Landing gear deployed. Yep. Landing gear retracted. Yep, this is what we want. Uh, where are my contracts? Rebuilding a friend. Upon a chance encounter with Axe, the protagonist discovers a familiar robot piece, the head of Drain, his father's trusted right hand. Struck by memories of childhood spent gazing at pictures of his father and Drain, he strikes a deal with Axe to assist him in locating all the missing pieces. Guided by Axe, the protagonist embarks on a treacherous journey to the site where she believes the first piece lies determined to uncover the secrets of Drain. Okay. Go to Koron's lab at Zunvar's planet. Show system. Ship in orbit, yes, but where's the system I need to get to? Is it here, maybe? I'm well aware, game, thank you. Whoa, no, hey, whoa. Okay, it's not showing anything. Maybe I just, maybe this is one of those ones where we have to just land on the planet. I'll give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? crashing there's no crashing happening here something wrong check Coram's lab oh uh, we'll have to check the lab in just a few minutes apparently we've got ads starting right about now so if you guys don't mind I'm gonna go make some tea and I'll be back in a few minutes my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Well, I guess we should help him out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. 
I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> so the kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. At least he's enclosed. <laughs> Oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Uthgert. <laughs> Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well... I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. Oh. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Oh no, what's going on? That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Yes! <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. That was unexpected. Artillery providing cover?
Uh, okay. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Um. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Come you again. <laughs> so let me just see if I can drive in the wrong side of the. Oh boy. Police don't mind when you do that, do they? <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, yeah, drop yeah, the yeah, anchor. Drop the anchor. I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. <laughs> did, no. it, did somebody drop the anchor finally or drop <laughs> the freaking anchor, thank you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, <laughs> now oh, okay. So we're gonna clip of that one. <laughs> oh you are so lucky. And holy crap that right goal. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh. That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. in no shape to continue the game. Aloy? Errand! I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. Well, I'm dead. <sighs> okay, I am back. Sorry, folks. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh, my God. The ship controls are so sensitive. Thank you, Zerpy. <laughs> Sorry, Zerpy. Which clip was that? Thank you, Crispy. How's it going, Sketchy? Uh... Landing gear deployed. We'll go to L3. I 
like the weather. This looks really good. Oh, it was uh, that was a PC game, not NES, but it was a very old game. That was Space Quest One or Two, I believe. I think it might have been one. Space Quest One. Thank you, Crispy. I knew it. These Corrin's men. And I'm sure they know you're here. Don't stand a chance against the mercenaries of Corrin's with their equipment of yours. Speaking of you equipment. You need better equipment. I know where Corrin hides his stash. Let me show you. The obvious question, would you compare this to No Man's Sky? Um, yes. Yes, I would. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison, it's a bit of a complicated comparison, but that's one of the most clear comparisons you could make, I think. I think that's fair to say. I think the design goals for each game are a little bit different. I'm seeing drop ships approaching your area. Get ready. Okay. Uh. Uh. No, I don't like that they force you into third person mode for combat. Ow. Ow. Rude. Ah! Let me recover. Obviously some differences. by elevator. Okay. They gave up very quickly and easily. That was weird. Yeah, um, I think it's got a lot of points of similarity to No Man's Sky. In some ways, it's better. In other ways, it's very clear that this is the work of a single person, and so it just doesn't have, you know, the, the team element that allows it to be really super polished, but this is the work of one person, which is just unbelievably crazy. Okay, where are we going? We're going down. It really is crispy. This is a really good game so far. I mean, I'm only a couple of hours into it, so I haven't really seen a huge amount, but the first game was really impressive. So it doesn't surprise me that this one's even better so far. Just the amount of exploration is hugely improved, and I haven't even fully started doing the actual exploration stuff yet. Like, that's a whole career that you can do. Yes. Sorry, but your friend is dead. Dead? How? I think he is murdered. Damn it. I told him not to mess with Quinn. Wait a second. Do you see any AT documentation around? It should be in a small mechanical box. Uh, I see a zombie. An alien zombie. Damn! 
It must not fall into Quinn's hands. Fortunately, we had a tracking device attached to the AT document. Just wait a sec. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but Quinn stole the AT document and is about to leave the atmosphere. You must catch him immediately. According to my screen, there's a cargo ship directly overhead. The AT document must be in a container on that ship. Please don't let them escape. I'll do my best. Fly still. What do you mean absorbed? So am I sketchy. This is really fun. It's a little rough at points, but it's also early access, so it's likely to improve over time. Oh, this is not an FPS game. This is not FPS at all. For starters, I can't seem to find a way to even get into first person while shooting. It's third person. But second, this is more of a space game. I might have to take a look at the sensitivity settings because it, it's really easy to just move the mouse a little bit and suddenly you're nowhere near where you want to be firing. Also, it seems to be way harder to fight in atmosphere than it is in space. So just in case I haven't mentioned it, it's worth noting as well, I did get a free copy of the game. I got a key for it, so thank you to the devs and the key mailer company for making that happen. 
Oh wait, that's the cargo ship. I need to get rid of the fighter first. There we go. Uh, no, when I say I got a key, I mean that's the key that I'm currently using to play the game. It was good to see you, Sketchy. Have a fantastic day. Game is wild, guys. <laughs> that takes the key. They have got drones. Watch out. That was not where I meant to land. Ah. What? Oh my god, they're. Not 
They're shooting at me with ship guns? Oh, they're drones. Okay. They're not nearly as big as I was afraid of. Ugh. Not here. Damn it. Please keep looking. Yep, no problem. Kind of taking some heavy fire here. Here it is. Please bring it to me at any cost. We can't let Bruin get those. Okay, but... We can't leave any evidence behind. That's right. We According also can't leave any loot behind. More importantly. With the help, we can destroy the ship. Now go and shoot the gas canisters until they catch fire. Wait, where's the other documents? You shoot oh. more than necessary. It will explode while you're on it. Gas canisters, 50 meters. Okay. as fast as I can. <laughs> and as promised, the robot is about to be repaired. Thank you, sir. Holy crap, that is one thing that No Man's Guy cannot do. That was crazy. <laughs> oh. I hope that the developers at Hello Games play this game and take a lot of notes. Uh, okay, where do we have to go? We have to return to Sonak Station. Right, Sonak Station. We want the station. We want not, not the planet. Where's... Nope, where is it? Sonak Station, where are you? Don't want... Nope. I had it for just a second. Come on, let's get closer. Oh my god, come on. So next station. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got it. That was a hell of a mission. Holy crap. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. How's it going? It's good to see you. Give me just one moment here. You missed the most amazing mission, Greenie. I had to chase down a cargo ship in a planet's atmosphere, eject from my starship, and use my jetpack to land on the cargo ship, retrieve documents, 
then shoot a bunch of gas canisters and jetpack back to my ship before the cargo ship exploded. It was ridiculous. And amazing. There we go. Guys, if you're not following Greeny, then what the heck are you doing with your lives? Make sure you go give him a follow. It was... He, he's an awesome friend of the channel, and... Oh, hang on. Uh, hello? Station? May I dock, please? Docking request granted. Thank you. In order you. to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. Okay, so we're back at docking port 4 again. Landing gear deployed. Interesting that it's uh, docking bay 4, but it's painted with a 3. But, okay, whatever. first, then we go visit our friend. Robot-based business. I can't believe what you just did there. You were great. As promised, I repaired your robots. However, only the B-Drive was operational. This means that only the head of the robot was working. After all you've done for me, I didn't want to settle for that. I found a very clean robot from the junkyard and uploaded your robot's be drive to a newer model droid. As a matter of fact, you will have a new generation multifunctional droid with the brain of your old robot. These SR11 models are very athletic, able to fight and even... You know what I mean? <laughs> So it's like data, it's fully functional. You mentioned the extra reward. Ah, I almost forgot. I collected the ship weapons and to upgrade components for you. I'm sure they're better than the ones loaded on your ship. Thanks again. If you need anything, you know where to find me. All right, thank you, sir. That does look more advanced than the uh, robot we had before. Drain. How do we talk to Drain? This exoskeleton. It is different. It's you. You know who I am. I was an old colleague of your father's. I had promised him I would watch over you and thought I had failed him. But here you stand before me. Who are you exactly? It's understandable you don't remember me. After all, you were just a baby when we parted ways. My designation was three but commander of the WRA. I was the right hand of the great general, your father. What's WRA? World Resistance Army. An organization founded by your father. And what was its purpose? Freedom. What happened to the WRA? For that, I need to start from the beginning. 
<laughs> Cinematic. This is early access, guys. Have a little uh, forgiveness here. Which brings us to today. <laughs> now the responsibility falls onto you to continue what your father started. That is to unite and liberate the entire human race. No pressure. So let me get this straight. Are you looking for a new leader for your terrorist organization and you want me to be in this new leader? Well, forget it. I'm doing just fine as a freelancer pilot. Your father was no terrorist. He was a great resistance leader. The true terrorists are the current leaders of this galaxy. Guys, give me just two seconds here. Um, I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Growing up, I've had plenty of people complaining about these leaders, but you know what? We're doing just fine without the WRA. We have built and thrived in secret cities free from their interference. Do you call living in secrecy freedom? I know how the council of these leaders works. If they were ever to discover your cities, they would slaughter all the earthlings. So tell me, is this really how you want to live? In fear? All I know is that we're doing just fine so far, and I don't want to stir things up. Re-establishing the WRA will only put a giant target on our backs. At this time, I see that it is pointless to try to convince you. You said you're a freelance pilot, correct? Then I have a job for you. What's the job? Your father's former second-in-command, Anchor. He is in prison. I want you to break him out. Oh, that's interesting. In return... I will give your father's armor. It is priceless. Do you have a plan for this prison break? Of course. I am a man of many... Correction. A woman of many plans now, I suppose. <laughs> You'll need to travel to the planet Zeda. Specifically the prison district. Take out any of the hostels and free anchor. Okay, I can handle that. Go on. Great. Let's discuss the details then. Nirax, a world organization leader, has devised a prison raid plan. We will need to join this raid and extract Anchor before the prison is destroyed. When will this raid happen? What is the date today? We are still 50 moons away, but I can move up the schedule. No issues there. Every worldly organization is loyal and will follow your father's and Admiral's orders. We have plenty of time should you need it. I would recommend you use this free time wisely. There are various guilds throughout the galaxy that you can join. By becoming a member, you can gain experience and reap the unique benefits offered by each guild. That's excellent because I want to join the Explorer's Guild. Where can I find these guilds? There is a guild section in the main interface. <laughs> There you can find the location of the closest branch of each guild. I would suggest joining the Freelancers Guild first. The types of missions they offer will enhance your piloting skills, and this will in turn allow you to equip higher tier upgrades. The choice is of course yours to make. I love it when they talk out of character like that and break the fourth wall by mentioning interfaces. If you don't mind, I would like to join your crew. As a co-pilot, I bring many years of experience that will be of benefit to you. I don't know, where do you see yourself in five years? Wise choice. As a co-pilot, my first advice would be to upgrade your weapons. Smen's weapons are in should be better than what you're currently using. It would be wise to equip them before we encounter any further hostiles. The problem with being a one-man dev team is you don't have anyone to blame for things like this. Obviously, want to shag a robot thing. He can't just say, yeah, that was Dave's thing. <laughs> well, sure he can. He can just say, well, you know, I had this guy. Uh, he, he was a friend. He offered to write this quest for me, and he threw that in there. And, you know, 
we have no way to confirm or deny it, so we have to kind of just stay suspicious, but take him at his word for now. Let's be on our way, then. Okay. Let's see here. I've got lots of stuff. This armor is designed to keep soldiers safe in battle with advanced technology that reduces damage taken and enhances the wearer's physical capabilities. It's a must-have for any soldier looking to stay alive in the field. Um... Eject... No, let's... No, let's... I don't want to accidentally destroy anything. Plausible deniability, the name of the game. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, what do we got here? Yeah, that's a pretty good set of armor by the looks of it. Looks like I've picked up some decent stuff, too. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna wear that. Where's the sniper rifle? An identification ready. Regular boarding begins approximately ten minutes time. Thank you, Watson. Me and my sister are gonna do a John Wick marathon, so I need to help out, but thanks for the stream. Definitely wish listing this game. Awesome, Crispy. It's got some definite rough spots, especially in the language, because the this is a Turkish game. The developer is not, uh, as far as I know, a native English speaker. Plus, he's doing the entire thing on his own. So, I mean, it's pretty impressive, all things considered. I didn't even realize I had different weapons available. That's pretty impressive. Uh... Deadly long-distance weapon equipped with advanced scope technology. So now I've effectively got two sniper rifles. Let's go with a fancy schmancy laser pistol, too. Okay. Talents. Did I just... Yeah, I think I leveled on soldier. And maybe pilot, too, again. Available attribute points, three. This is the final boarding oh, the acoustic, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let's maybe take a quick look at that again then. Oh, actually, no, wait, where is... The final check is being completed, and the captain will order for the doors base craft to close in approximately five minutes' time. I repeat, this is the final boarding crew. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that looks good. I don't remember what gun I was using. It was probably this. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty happy with those choices. Thank you, that's very handy. That's very cool. Okay, so soldier. We've got three available attribute points. going to evenly split them here. Pilot, I've got six available points. I like that I keep getting more points for them. That's really nice. Really, really good. Haven't gotten anything for Adventurer yet. We'll have to work on that, because that's what I want my focus to be. But we're still effectively doing the... I assume this is still the tutorial. Okay. 
Okay. Now, it did say something about guilds here. Freelancers Guild, Mercenary, Bounty Hunter, Miner, Explorer. Leader, Polar Exterod. Closest branch, Rotan, 175. Status, not member. Rank 1. Installs Alpha Signal Detector on probes. ASD allows you to find hidden structures. Rank 2, all bonuses of previous rank, installs beta signal detector on probes. BSD allows you to find space anomalies. Rank 3, all bonuses of previous rank, installs omega signal detector on probe. OSD allows you to find wormholes. That's cool. So, it looks like we need to go to Rotan 175. Coming through. Excuse me. Important space or business here. First, open the services panel to manage your ship. Load new weapons. Okay, so services panel. Services panel. Uh, I guess we need... Nope. Um... Ah, that's how we do it. Okay. Nope, give me that. Okay, ship. Hull systems, shield systems, power. Wow, there's a lot of customization here. Power systems, weapon systems, aim components, engine systems. Scanner boss. Oh, I got one. Maximize your ship's scanning efficiency with our state-of-the-art scanning component. It can be installed via the services panel. Okay, so... Stellar Hall X system. Uh. I'm doing pretty good, Mad. I'm slowly figuring out this game. It's a lot to work with. It's it's kind of complicated, but it's worth it. It's ridiculous fun. I just finished a mission a short time ago, which had me chase down a cargo ship in atmosphere, exit my ship, use my jetpack to land on top of the ship, retrieve documents from inside the ship, then shoot up a bunch of gas canisters to blow the ship up and get back to my ship before it exploded. It was... And this was during a rainstorm, too. It, it was spectacular and amazing. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming this is not the services interface. Upgrades. Plus one coordination, plus one luck. 
current equipment. After a critical hit, the next critical hit damage is increased by 15.3 if hit another crit in 10 seconds. This bonus can stack, however, the main percentage can never be above 1,000%. Every successful hit on a target repairs the ship's armor by 2.8. That's pretty impressive. But it looks like what we've got is already better than that one. Stellar Hull X-Series. Yeah, what we've got is better. Um... But these ones, these are definitely better. Yeah, okay. How, what, where, who, cargo, bounty board, what the, nope. Oh, okay. So that's if you're a bounty hunter. Probes. So how do I actually upgrade stuff? This is the worst part so far. I can't seem to drag it around anywhere. Right clicking doesn't do much. Double clicking doesn't do much. I wish the game were a little bit better at communicating. That's the only thing right now. Come on. Let me do stuff. Let me do things. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, this is frustrating. How do I do the thing? Exit main menu, go to services in cockpit view. But, uh, hang on. Oh, Jesus, it was weapons. right there. Thank Open you. Open the weapon management section. Before starting, unload your old weapons by clicking on them on the left panel. On the right, weapons do not belong to a group when loaded. You have to group them yourself. Now add this weapon to fire group one. Okay, base damage 202, 124, so we want that one. And then this one is 211. There we go. Now load the second. Good. Now let's load the components on the ship. For this, open the components management section below. Just like the weapons, you can load the components by clicking on the cargo. 
But first, remove the old shield and hull components, then load the new ones. Okay. Thank you, Lacoustic. That's really helpful. I, I eventually did see where it said in giant letters on the side of the screen, F for services, but I, I have a weird relationship with visual stuff sometimes where it just does not trigger for me immediately. Shield systems. Okay, so this is, that's aim. Where's Omnifarer Shield Knight plus 983. Oh my god, we want the, sh the Guncher Shield Knight for sure. That's amazing. It is. It is unintuitive, but it's worth it so far. It's been so much fun even having to figure everything out. Stellar Hull Series plus 887. 3785? Holy crap. Okay. Each ship's component slots are different. For example, this ship has weapon systems and aim component slots. These slots are hard to find on every ship. All set. Now close this panel with the exit button. The hell you say? I still have other stuff to install. Plus 0.3%, plus 0.3%, 48.1, 47, okay, so what we've got is better there. Um, incompatible module type? Rude. The hell? I need a ship that will allow me to do the scanny thingy. Wait until the raid is ready? Isn't it going to tell me where to go? Oh, uh, by the way, two minute warning on ads again, so... I will be taking a quick break in a minute or two. So let's just take off first. Landing gear retracted. Okay. So where was it we wanted to go? We wanted to go to Rotan. But contracts. Saving the Anka. Get back to your ship, load new weapons and components to ships via service panel. Wait until the raid is ready. So I guess we're just kind of hanging around here. I assume that's a friendly or at the very least neutral ship of some sort. Alright guys, we'll have to continue waiting after the break. It looks like ads are about to start in a minute, so I'm going to start my break right now and I will be back very shortly. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, use the washroom, whatever you got to do, I'll be back in about three and a half to five. I'll be running clips in the meantime, so you won't be missing anything. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No. <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. 
Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that might require a little adjustment. <laughs> what have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. What the? What? What is going on? Close. Holy crap, how am I not? We'll open the portal on your mark. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. Oh no, he's getting away. Bad. Too bad. Huh, meat. This is definitely going to get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Othgard. That was perfect. Okay, I am back. Ah, holy crap, ship. What the heck? Okay. Wait until the raid is ready. Now, 
does that mean I literally have to stick around and wait for the raid, or does that mean just take off and do other stuff in the meantime? Because I vaguely remember the conversation making it sound like that was going to take a while. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to take a look at these guilds again. We want to join the Explorers Guild. We can join more than one guild, right? Because joining the Freelancers Guild is probably not the worst idea either. I expect that's probably going to earn more money more quickly than exploring will. But I'm my priority is exploring, so we need to go there. So we need to go to Rotan 175. So let's maybe head to the Stargate. Stargate, Stargate, Stargate. There's the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Stargate. Open Atlas and set route. Uh, route setter. No, how about search engine? Rotan 175. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. It is pretty good, Mio. This game is the work of one person, by the way. It's still early access as well, so more improvement will be made, but it's amazing. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Couldn't you put the nav point in line with the path? Destination reached. Okay. Now, ah, they have their own station. That's pretty cool. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Is it more elite or No Man's Sky in terms of gameplay? I would say No Man's Sky just because there's an awful lot more hopping out of your ship and doing stuff not in the cockpit. Uh, which is what I primarily associate with Elite. I mean, earlier in the stream, I actually had a mission that required me to chase down a cargo ship, destroy its engines with my starship, then eject from my starship in flight, use my jetpack to land on the cargo ship, retrieve some cargo, and shoot up some gas canisters to destroy the cargo ship, then fly back to my own ship before the cargo ship blew up. 
that's not something that you're going to get in either Elite or No Man's Sky, let's be honest. It was pretty amazing. Okay. Oh, we're right here. Oh my god. Sometimes I tend to oversteer a little. Landing gear deployed. <laughs> well, I kind of landed almost right. I see Elite is more precise, accurate in terms of flying craft, and No Man's Sky is more simplified, action-oriented. I would put this one somewhere in between the two, Miho, in that, uh, in that sense of things. Refill console? What? Pulse ammo. Can I afford anything? Oh wow, that's actually kind of expensive. Registration. That looks like what I need. Welcome to the Explorers Guild. What can I do for you? I would like to join the guild. Great. All we ask of you to join our guild is to identify a spot that has not yet been found anywhere for us. If you do this, you can become a member of our guild. Would you like to take the task now? I would indeed. Explorers Guild interview task. That's it? Where's my contracts? Okay, we want to track this one. Find any hidden location at any solar system. Okay, so I'm going to guess that I probably won't have a lot of luck finding a hidden location in this solar system. Such a good ship, Parker. Okay, scanner. Click to activate. So is this just a waiting game then? Hmm. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, call back, maybe. Canceled. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
Hang on, hang on. Okay. So it looks like the catcher enables you to use some of the others. So maybe drag to activate. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, I think we're just going to have to call them back. Scan operation cancelled. That's an interesting way to do it, though. That's so cool, actually. All right. I think... Um, let's head back to the Stargate. There's probably not a lot that hasn't been explored in the home system of the actual Explorers Guild. So... We're probably going to just head out to a system that has less going on. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. see what's going on here and then we'll see how we actually go about finding new star systems because that would be that would be ideal for me but I don't know that I necessarily have the right kind of ship for that at the moment I want a dedicated exploration vessel but I have like a thousand credits I'm not getting anything nearly that sophisticated just yet Okay. Saving the Anka, we're at Rotan. Owner unknown. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Unknown owner sounds promising, or possibly terrifying. We'll find out. We won't know until we go. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Reach the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. <laughs> Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. In three, two, one. Oh, it was a multi jump. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Scanner. Catcher launched.
No signal found in the system. Oh, that's just... Oh, that actually, that's even more interesting because that suggests that a signal was found in the previous system. It also suggests that I should probably try to get better scanning gear because my scan range for my probes was pretty crap. Of course, I was using a booster. I wonder if I, maybe I was using that wrong. I should probably read up on how some of this stuff works. Uh, for now, we managed to at least set the gears in motion for joining the Explorer's Guild, which, yay, good. Maybe we should also join that Freelancer's Guild so that I can make money to get upgrades to make scanning stuff easier, like a new ship and all that. So where do we need to go if we wanted to join the Freelancer's Guild? Sarah Ermain is the leader, and the closest branch is at Rabar. So we're going to head back to the uh, gate here. Okay, that's a pretty easy jump, it looks like. So we're going to set our route. Um, I repeat, we're going to set our route, Rabar. There we go. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Oh, we're on the wrong side of the jump gate. Proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Destination reached. Ruler House Zerat. Let's clear the exit area. Let's see. Freelancers Guild. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Hopefully we can be a member of both. there. This is a fairly long jump. And here we are. Freelancers Guild, hello. I would like to dock, please. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. Landing gear deployed.
Guild Market. Administrators only. Our guild needs more members than ever before. Remember, we have no one. Ah, registration. Here we go. I want to join the Freelancers Guild. Sure thing. However, we have a qualifying duty for all our members. Once you're successful in this mission, we will register you in our guild. Would you like to take the mission now? Yes, I would. Contract sign, Freelancers Guild interview task. I like how they didn't actually tell me what the mission actually is. To the attention of all members, please make sure you read the guild rules carefully before taking actions for our guild. Any action that will damage Oh, it's an assassination. Position. That's lovely. Z Yakitri wants El Leo dead. He's contracted to the LFP panel for this task. I can find El Leo in the Moth 27 solar system. Go to Moth 27 to destroy El Leo. Great. So, I will become less famous, but I will get money, and I will get pilot experience, and I will gain reputation. Okay, um, now, is there a place somewhere around here where maybe I can sell some cargo? Up to date. They have a lot of up to date files. Gold market, that's probably what we're looking for. Oh, guild market. That makes more sense. Um. To the attention of all members, please make sure you read the guild rules carefully before taking actions yeah. on our guild. Any action that will damage the guild's reputation will be punished first under the criminal law and then by the disciplinary committee of our guild. ZT Otwell Pulse Charger. Holy crap, this Rift Path Assault Rifle? That's got a hell of a DPS value. Oh, but it's because it is an assault rifle and it shoots really quickly. I think I'm going to stick with the sniper rifle, actually. Okay, on paper, it looks like this blue suit is better than the purple one, but I can't help but notice the blue suit does not have hit point recovery. So I'm going to sell this one, actually. It looks like a really good suit, but... Not quite good enough. Melted metal. Part of the ship that is unusable. It can be sold to merchants. Uh, okay, sell that. Weapon container. Made for trade with common items. Trade items are sold in containers. Saren suit. I didn't realize they had Turians in this game. Members higher than rank two, new legendary items have arrived in the guild market. Remember, there is only one legendary item in the galaxy, and it can be yours. Please do not complain about prices. They may be more expensive than yesterday. Oh, well, that was quite a bit of money. The Shield Knight? Nice. Stellar Hall X series. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, I think that will do it. So I've got cash now, which is really nice. Not enough to buy a ship, I don't think, but that's fine. Okay, now, um... <laughs> Where is it we need to go? We have contracts. We need to go to Moth 27. Moth 27, Moth 27. Landing gear retracted. Alright. So we need to go to the Stargate. station there. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. You know what? Before we take off, we're in a new system here. Let's scan it. Maybe I can actually do my thing. It would be a shame to pass it up. Oh, oh, no we got... No found in the system. Aw. Oh, no, no dice. Okay. Fair enough. Stargate, open Atlas and set Ruth to Moth. Okay, that's probably going to be a few different jumps. So we're going to set the route. We're going to set the route. Are we going to set the route? What the heck? Destination not set. I want to go to Moth. What the heck? Let me go to Moth. All right, fine. Maybe we'll go to Hellspawn and then we'll just work our way over there. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. Hellspawn. Excellent. We're just going to head out here. And since we are here, might as well try scanning, right? Just launched.
No signal found in the system. Boo. Okay. So we're over here in Hell's Bond. We want to go to Moth. There we go. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. No problem, Control. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. There we go. Now we do the murder, and we should be good. Go to Moth and destroy El Leo. Um, how do I know... Weapons online. How do I know who that is, actually? <laughs> Let's maybe try scanning here, too. Capture launched. Ah, oh, it's over here. Okay. Scan operation successful. The system includes a new signal point. Yay! You are now a member of this guild. Who knew that the same system would gain me entrance to both? Well, theoretically. I mean, we're not actually a freelancer yet. Potentially get me access to both. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. thing there's no collision. I wonder if that's going to be a thing later. One problem with these upgraded weapons, they seem to overheat or otherwise become less useful pretty quickly. Where are you? Where, where, where? 
Where? Where? There. There you are. Callan Ray, how's it going? It's really good to see you. What's up? Where'd you go? Ooh. Things are getting a little hairy here. This is my first combat since upgrading my weapons. My pulse weapon for taking down shields seems to overheat very easily, which is a little unfortunate. going, Kellen, right? Hope you're doing well today. Getting some sleep finally, that's excellent. Mirat Still getting used to the narcotics with the left arm. Ray was ready and we were meeting on the escape route of Russian system. I am so glad to hear that. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like I've succeeded in my objective. I have now joined not one but two different guilds, which is pretty awesome. I'm a member of the Explorers Guild. 
and it looks like I just completed the objective to become a member of the Freelancer Guild too. <laughs> yes, we can do spins. Spinning's a good trick. not very good at navigating. Either is possible. This guy seems to have some sort of special funky shield or something.
Well, I'm able to affect him, but not consistently. I don't know if I can take him out. His shield is regenerating too. I had done a lot more damage than that to him. Yeah, exactly, Kalan, right? I don't think I can do enough damage fast enough. I'm gonna have to try and get out of here. My own shield is regenerative as well, but you know, I don't think it makes enough of a difference. Dara, how's it going? Just here, let me check something really quickly here. Okay, I have not done it yet. This has got to be the guy that I need to take out then.
been lurking, finally tuning in. How's the game so far? It's amazing. Were you here when I did the mission where I had to hop out of my ship to land on a cargo vessel using my jetpack, grab stuff out of it, shoot up some gas canisters to destroy the cargo ship, and then get back to my own ship before it exploded? It was wild. And this was in atmosphere, by the way, around a planet. shields out, I'm just going to have to be utterly relentless and switch between weapon types. If I give him half a chance, he's going to regenerate and I'm not going to be able to do a damn thing. Back here. I was likely tabbed out at any given time. I do remember tabbing in briefly and seeing you outside your ship, but wasn't paying close attention. It was amazing, Anstara. It was very unique. I've never had that kind of mission in any game like this before. Okay. 
It looked like I was starting to make some headway there for a bit. But I can't seem to get him below 50% on his shield for any length of time. pretty okay there for now. Apologize, folks. I was so caught up in that battle, I only just realized we have ads in progress right now. Extremely intense fight. <laughs> okay, looks like the ads are over. I apologize very much. I was so caught up in that intense fight that I completely failed to notice that they had even started until they were almost over. So let's get back to it. We're finally making some progress. I finally got rid of his shield. Come on, lock on. You didn't get any? Excellent, Jessica. Excellent. Uh, okay. Scanner. 
Purchase launched. Scan operation successful. The system includes a new signal point. All right. Now, what I would love to know is, is it actually possible to pick up loot from these ships that I've destroyed? Because I have not been clear on that so far over the course of playing the game. For now, I'm not terribly concerned about it, though. Uh, let's just take a look at what we need to do next. So we've got contracts. Was that it? Missions. Huh. I guess that was it. So I guess we can go back to the headquarters for the various factions then that we've got. Huh. All right. Go to Moth and destroy El Leo. So we did that. Let's go over here back to the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Whew. That was fun. That was tough, though. We definitely need to see about upgrading the ship. I think we'll head back to the Freelancer Guild headquarters first. Stargate, open Atlas and set route. Okay, so we want, uh, what do we want? Actually, Mercenary, Freelancer, Marma. Okay, so we're going to go to Marma. I don't think that's where we joined up, but that's okay. We'll go there. Get you some bigger guns. Yeah, maybe missiles during the fight. Those missile lock alerts. Was that them locking on you? Yes, it was. I don't seem to have... I'm not sure if I have missiles, actually. My three main weapons so far are the uh, the laser thing that I use to deplete shields, the Gatling that I use to deplete hull, and the cloak that I use to evade detection. So we're going to set root here. We're going to... Okay, maybe we're not going to go there first. Uh, is there something closer for... Explorer's Guild. Okay, so we'll go back to Rotan. We should be e able to get there relatively easily, I would think. Hopefully. Maybe not. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Okay. Ultra, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. What's up? Let me just get through this jump and then I will give you a proper shout Please out. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Oh, thank you, Kellen. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. Warning. N3, your cargo hull was scanned by an unknown ship. Caution is advised. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. How are you doing today, Ultra? From the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. 
Okay. It's interesting that I got scanned while going through the wormhole there. Just waking up and eating breakfast? I'm doing very well, Ultra, thank you. How's all the school stuff going? How close are you to being done? It's got to be getting there. Okay, now let's see if we can get to Rotan from here. Still no? You're kidding me. What about Marma? That was the other one we wanted to do. Okay, we can at least Please do Marma. To the jump point to start jump process. Last week of classes coming up and exams due by the 25th? Oh man. You gotta be so excited. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. Okay. So here, I believe this was the system that the Freelancers Guild is located in, so we'll go check them out. Freelancers Guild, there we are. Yeah, we were talking the other day about uh, Keymailer Ultra. This is, I think, the second stream that I've done using a key that I've gotten through Keymailer. So big thanks to them for making this possible. The game is really fantastic so far. Completed. Waiting for the thruster input. This game, I don't know if a lot of you know this, this is the work of one developer, one guy. That was such a funny conversation. I've known about Keymailer and other similar sites for many years, I've just, I've never really used them before. A lot of the times when I've gotten keys, it's just because the developers themselves have approached me and said, hey, we'd like to give you this. That's what happened with the other game, the, uh, the procedurally generated fantasy RPG. What's it called? Um, Rogue, Rogueborn, or Raidborn, that was it, Raidborn. The dev approached me directly and said, hey, here's a key. But I figure that being on sites like key mailers where developers and publishers and all that kind of stuff can kind of look you over and see your stats and all that kind of thing, it's probably a good way to build a reputation. So, I figured it was time. Docking request. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. Landing gear deployed. There are also so many games on there that you never even knew existed, yes. That's also true. Um, hello? There we go. Um, 
Okay, I don't need to join because I've already joined, so let's not do that. Administrator only. Clearly we must violate that rule. Or maybe not, I guess. What else can we do here? Okay, so they don't have very many. Oh, they do. Okay. This advanced cargo component is perfect for anyone who wants to maximize their cargo potential. It improves cargo storage and handling, allowing you to transport more goods with ease. It can be installed via the services panel. Fifty-three cubic meter or fifty-one cubic meters, fifty-six cubic meters, fifty-nine. To the attention of all members, please make sure you read the guild rules carefully before taking actions for our guild. Any action that will damage the guild's reputation will be punished first. Under Maximize your ship's scanning efficiency with our state-of-the-art scanner component. It can be installed by a services panel. Scan distance. Okay, so that one's a little better. Willpower, alertness, alertness, intelligence. Just doing some video editing, so leave a lurk as I might miss things in conversation, but 100% still here. I appreciate it so much, Ultra. Have a fantastic evening. I have a bunch of... Uh, video work to do later myself. I still have to go through a bunch of the last two streams worth of uh, Breath of the Wild clips. And then I barely scratched the surface. You know, it turned out, you made one clip during that Jurassic World Evolution 2 stream. I hit my stream deck button to clip 81 times. 81. Yours was much better, by the way, because you did, like, you you had the good, uh, <laughs> the good start and end points with the uh, appropriate amount of timing at the beginning and end, whereas mine is just a blah, 30 seconds. It's, uh, it took me all day just to rename the clips on Twitch themselves. I haven't even downloaded most of them. I probably won't download them. I'll just take notes on, you know, uh, because I've, I keep the, uh, Oh, what the hell? Uh, hang on a second. Half my overlay is gone. That's not good. Uh, I usually have a timestamp in my overlay, which makes it really easy to note when clips happen so I can go into the VOD and take the care of it myself if I need to. What on earth has happened to my overlay? Oh, okay, there we go. It's back again. I don't know. That's really weird. But yeah, you see down around here. So that usually makes it pretty simple. I don't know what's going on today or if that's been gone for most of the stream, but, uh, you know, it, it, I can just take a look at a clip and see, oh, that was at 426, and that makes it, like, you know, 15 seconds max to find out where it is in the VOD. Uh, I would like to get more context for alertness, intelligence, and willpower. So let's cancel out of here. We're going to look at our character. I don't think I've got any... 
Talents, gear, where's talents? Okay. So... Oh, I do, actually. I can, I can bump up this. So, willpower, Men's shield, armor, two. recharge, damage resistance. Okay, so willpower doesn't seem has. quite as good. Intelligence is yesterday. anomaly Gosh, analysis, experience fire. bonus, all classes, so trade, crafting, need. dialogue, etc. Loop, draw, chance, and ch yeah, okay. So... <laughs> might not be the worst t thing to boost that willpower some. I'm gonna do that. It's not as good for some of the adventuring stuff, but it looks like we're gonna get into our share of fights. So, probably good to have that up a bit too. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I'm starting to get adventurer experience as well, which is really nice. We still got a ways to go before we start leveling that. So let's just take a look at scan systems. We're going to filter that. that one. These ones are pretty pricey. Maybe I want to hold off on those. They don't have any power systems. I'm curious about these holders. Stellar offensive pack. Enhance the power of your ship's weapons with these offensive components. A versatile addition to any arsenal can be installed in the service panel. So that boosts your damage, critical chance, critical damage, projectile speed multiplier, and Men's accuracy. Two. New legendary items have arrived in the guild market. Remember, there is only one legendary item in the galaxy. I still want to kind of build more Is for the exploration thing. So maybe let's check out engine systems. Ship speed, warp speed, thruster fuel, and thruster recharge rate. Looks like a decent upgrade. I don't know if it's decent enough, though. I don't know. I think I could probably do better with a different upgrade com entirely. Mm, maybe I actually will go with the cargo. Or maybe let's take a look at what there is for shield. Oh, there's a lot of shields. Gunter Shield Knight looks like the best. So many options. Nabi, this is actually the first time I played this game. Uh, this is an early access game. It's the sequel to one that I streamed a little while ago, like a few weeks ago. This is Starbound Part 2, or um, Star Starborn Part 2, pardon me. And it's the sequel to a 
one that I was playing a few weeks ago, and so far this is so good. I've managed to join a couple of the guilds. It looks like the exploration element is a lot stronger in this. The ship upgrading is amazing. I, I really, really like this one quite a bit. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I kind of... I'm not going to pay for that one just yet. Our guild needs more members than ever No defensive holders, Remember, okay. We have no one but us. Increases turret damage. You know what? I think I might actually just hang on to my money and see. Oh, 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 what? Epic and legendary? Rank 3 only, damn it. So that's your perk for upping your rank within the guild. You have special terminals for epic and legendary gear. Holy crap. That's cool. Now, I don't suppose they have any ship vendors. It doesn't seem like it's a big enough station for that. Let's go back to the hangar. I'll just get out of here. Okay, now let's go to Components Manager, and I do have a brand new scanner. Oh, I already had one. 3.6 accuracy, 1.2 accuracy. I hope this is not the one I just bought. No, this is the one I bought. Okay, so that's much better. That's good. Ink? Oh god, I forgot. My ship can't even load this. That's so annoying. Well, that's okay. I'll keep it, and when I eventually change out my ship for one that can do it, a proper exploration vessel will be all set. Slot is full. Um, let's see. Oh, no wonder I was able to hang in a fight so long. Every successful hit on target repairs ship armor. What the heck? Now it's my follow alerts that aren't appearing. Oh my god, my stream is cursed, I swear. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. <laughs> At least we were able to hear this one. Wow. Welcome on in, Goose. It's nice to have you here. All right, let's just get out of here. We'll find some more stuff to do. Landing gear retracted. We'll head over to the system with the Explorers Guild after we check out this one in a little more detail. We need to scan this now that we're official explorers. Catches launched. No signal found in the system. Okay, fair enough. Let's head to the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. And off we go. Oh, 
Okay, now. Stargate. Open Atlas and set route. Uh, where was it we needed to go? Rotan. Excellent. Please okay. approach to the jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. Warning. N3, your cargo hold was scanned by a destination breach. Caution is advised. We're okay. We're fine. I would be more worried if my ship were scanned by a distant ship in the system that we were arriving in. It's not so bad when we're just passing through for half a second or so. Okay, Explorer's Guild. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed, waiting for the thruster input. And there we go. Now, I would love to see how you actually gain missions for both of these things, the Freelancers, the Explorers Guild, I'm a little more interested in the Explorer's Guild, though I suspect you probably make money faster as a freelancer. But I really want to... I, I would love to see if we can actually get out to new areas in the time we have left. Although, I, I do kind of suspect I've got the wrong type of ship for exploration at the moment, which is why I joined freelancers. We might need to make a little bit of money and buy a different ship. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Hey, look at that. That's got to be by far my best landing so far. I actually got it in the designated landing zone. Yeah, X-Wing, it's a really good space game too. Were you around when I played a game called Spaceborne a few weeks ago? This is the sequel. It's in early access. It's by one single guy. It's one developer. And it's really fun. the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I apologize, my alerts seem to not be showing up visibly anymore, which is weird, but what can you do? Thank you, sir. What do we have over here? Administrators only. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there. Unaffordables. <laughs> hey, 
Haven't heard about this game before, no, but you have my attention. Absolutely crazy what you can do alone these days, and it's only going to get crazier, X-Wing. It's only going to get crazier now that we've got AI expert systems that can do, like, significant amounts of the coding for you. The indie game scene is just going to go completely insane over the next several years. Okay. Uh, absolutely, yes. Always, Ultra. What have you got for us? Oh, right. I can't install scan systems, because that's fun. Defensive pack. Oh, that's a decent one. According to the decisions taken at the last General Assembly meeting, discovered anomalies and wormholes must be reported to explore guild officials within 16 hours. Otherwise, a penalty will be applied to the disciplinary board. No engine systems. Only a fantastic thing for us gamers also puts the coal under the triple A devs who really can't half arse things anymore, pardon my French. Well, it's going to help them a lot too, though, right? It's going to save a lot of time on debugging and producing low level code. A lot of custom code people are still going to make themselves, but it's going to be interesting. So monitoring fishermen is very difficult and very costly. You either need someone on the boat to monitor or you need someone to monitor a video feed of their catch to see what they've caught. The purpose of this is to see what type of bycatch by they may be picking up and ensures they're only catching what they're meant to be harvesting. Job is about a hundred bucks an hour for someone to do and is only as good as the human eye. Interesting, Ultra. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. Once again, I apologize that the follow alerts are not visibly showing up, which is frankly a little weird to me, but there you go. Exactly, Nobby. And we'll get better at using it ethically in the future, I'm sure. Um, let me see. Maybe cargo? Skin system. The guild research and development team is developing the hammer skin. With this new system, the locations of extraordinary entities will be different. Drone. When Hammerskin becomes available, it will only be given to rank three members. I was hoping they might have some better component stuff. Oh well. Someone made an AI to watch these videos and it can identify different fish species coming on board. So if a fish that was not in the listed harvest species was caught, it can identify and flag it? Oh damn, Ultra. Welcome on in, Warp Space Game. How's it going? I'm just looking for upgrades to do to my ship. Or actually kind of leaning more towards, like once again, not necessarily upgrading right now. Because I'm also in the market to actually just outright buy a new ship. And so I don't necessarily want to spend all my money on new components. Which means one of my next things that I'm going to have to do is see if I can't... No cap defend on deck. Okay. Uh, is see if I can't find a place where I can actually purchase new ships. Because that would be fun. Call ship, transfer items. You only joined the Freelancer Guild yesterday? Nice. I'm playing this for the very first time today. I've joined the Freelancer Guild and the Explorers Guild so far. Those are the two that I'm most interested in. Honestly, I'm mostly interested in the Explorers Guild, but I figure the Freelancers Guild is probably more useful for making the money I need to get an exploration vessel. So let's see. 
Landing gear retracted. Contracts. Oh, wait. Saving the... Okay, hang on. Are we good here? Go to escape route and join the raid. Alright, maybe we'll do that one, because that seems to be some sort of story or tutorial mission of some sort. Only other thing you did so far was fix the robot? Yeah, I did that earlier in stream, too. Did you have to do the mission where you had to chase the cargo vessel in atmosphere on a rainy planet, hop out of your ship, use your jetpack to go to the cargo vessel, pick up a bunch of data files, and then blow up the cargo ship while getting back to your own ship with while avoiding the explosion? Because that was a pretty badass mission. I've never seen its like before. You didn't do that? Oh, wow. Well, uh, then I will say no more about it. Although I could have sworn that that was on the road to actually doing it. So maybe that's procedurally generated. Maybe that's not a thing everybody has to do. In which case, this is even more impressive than I thought. Okay. Escape route. Unable to connect. Join the raid at the Zonix Air System. Weapons online. Where are we? This is the only point in the system that can be reached without encountering any obstructions. Okay, I guess we have to go specifically to the escape route at the Zonix Air System, so we need to head to the Stargate again. I like that they provide an escape route so that you can always have somewhere to go. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. You killed the... Oh, the freelancer test? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was just doing probably half an hour ago or so. That was a pretty tough fight, honestly. It took me quite a while to, to uh, wear his ship down. His regenerative shielding was not doing me any favors. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the one. We want to go here. And we can Please just go straight there. The jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. That's where you left off? That's basically where I'm heading off from right now. Okay, so now let's go to the escape route here. See if my guess is correct as to what I need to do. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. And off we go. This shouldn't be too long. In theory, at least. Uh, 
new objective, walk to when Zelda Prison. Zelda Prison. Okay, so back here. I love that it's called Zelda Prison. I know it has nothing to do with the other spelling Zelda, but we've been playing so much Breath of the Wild lately. It's hilarious, anyway. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Help raid to capture support buildings. Okay. Barrage! We're under fire! We're losing quarter block! We need help at three quarters! Shield recharging. Oh crap. Oh man, this guy is so Holy crap. Such a pushover compared to the other guy, the actual target from the last mission. I swear it took 15 minutes to blow that guy up. We need help at three quarters. We're losing quarter drops. Need help. Our goal is to capture the prison building. However, prison is supported by support buildings around. For this reason, it is most logical to capture the support buildings first. When the main building lost power, we will drop soldiers and capture the prison from inside. Okay. Since we don't have a wall on that raid, we can just support the ally ships until the prison shield is down. Need help! We've captured the shield corner and ready to take the next scan. 
Okay, where are these different groups that we need? Um... We're losing blood attacks! Need help! Looks like these things need my help a lot more than where I am right now, so I'm gonna head over here and see what we can do. I wish I had a better idea of the distances, though. This looks like it's taking a long time to get to. Okay, where even are we? We're losing blood attacks! Need help! Yeah, okay. No clue. We're just gonna go here. We have to get there eventually at some point, right? Can maybe there's nothing I can lock on to warp to that's the problem. I need a faster ship. This is why I need an exploration ship. Really fast, good shields, really good scanners, not you know, decent weaponry would be okay don't really care about the cargo would also be really good if you could own more than one ship I'm sure you can since I think one of the ideas behind this game is that you actually begin a faction so presumably you can end up with an entire armada or you know a whole We're navy at some talk. point Is there... Let's take a look at settings, see if there's something... Inputs, ship. Turbo, that's not really what I'm looking for. Launch flares, I should maybe try to remember that. Toggle engine. Switch modes. Warp drive, B maybe. Okay, it doesn't want to do warp drive. We have captured the shield quarters and ready to take the next step. <laughs> okay, they're just doing it without me. How the heck do I do that? How do I go fast? They're just going to annihilate everything. Meanwhile, I'm trying to just use thrusters to get there. God. Okay. Interface again. I need to figure this out. I think it told me in the tutorial, and of course, because I'm streaming, it's just gone straight out the window. No idea. Not a clue. Thrusters are not cutting it, though. Turbo, that's not cutting it. That doesn't last long enough. Toggle engine, left, alt. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. So... Engine module offline. Uh, <laughs> Engine module online. Okay, that was less helpful than I imagined it might be. I didn't think that was just to turn the engine off. Wow. Uh, okay, what else might be useful? B doesn't do a damn thing. 
Relative mode, no. Power management engine, probably not. So what the... Ugh, I don't know. This is weird, guys. Hit your left arrow twice. Okay. That's a weird key press for mouse and keyboard, but I'll do what I can. Shift and shift lock together? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Boosting engines, I don't think so. I mean, well, let's give it a shot, I guess. Well, that's definitely an improvement to our speed, but that's not what I'm looking for. We're losing power blocks. Need help. Shift and shift lock together? Nope. <laughs> that's not going to do it. Um. Nope. That's not it. I need to get there quickly. I need to get there quickly. Regular thrusters, I, I've got to do some kind of warp boost or something like that, because just regular ship engines, the battle's going to be over long before I even get halfway there, I'm sure. We're losing blood Need help! There's got to be some other type of travel, fast travel, that I'm overlooking. That, like I said, probably the tutorial explained, and I just, I, I can't do it. But redoing the engine balance power is, is, that's not what we're looking for here. It's a good tip, but that's not what we're looking for. I appreciate the attempt at helping, though. It also looks like we've got ads starting in a few minutes. Uh, when I have ads beginning like that, I don't want you guys to miss anything. An hour ago, I was too caught up in battle to realize that they were beginning, but it looks like I've caught it in time. So I'm going to take a proper break here for about three and a half to five minutes when the ads are closer to starting. And uh, we'll see if we can figure this out once I get back. I will be running some clips, so you're not going to miss anything going on. And so I guess I'll get that started right now, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Best idea of that all day. Oops. Well, I guess I didn't really need that helicopter specifically. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. Uh. <laughs> oh. That. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? <laughs> that was <laughs> wow good job get to the top and secure Gaia I'll stop Gerard Oh, my God. 
I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. Yeah. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? <laughs> gotcha! That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. On second thought, I think a shower can wait. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretion some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well... I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. Oops. Okay, I am back. So I took to the Googles, and it looks like B is our friend here. So let me just... There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Leave your ship at... All support buildings have been captured. Soldiers are being dropped to the main building via dock ships. Let's go there and make a landing at the prison station. Okay. Okay. So, I arrived right after I was actually useful. <laughs> Figures. But now it looks like we have to go here, so let's go back this way. I wish I could lock my cursor. Are we still too far away? Nope, we're good. Waiting for a written invitation. You don't have to be so rude about it. Leave your ship at spot on prison station. Uh, okay. Would that be this outpost spot? See if I can find. 
find where we're supposed to land. What are you waiting for? Use the battle engine feature to go to the main building, disembark from the ship, and help the soldiers. Let me find a landing spot first. You didn't mark this very well. my entrance, let alone where I'm supposed to leave the freaking ship. Okay, I'm going to assume that it's here. That's the drop ship after all. So... Hello, Anchor, and welcome aboard. Who the hell are you? I'm Drain. At least my mind is... I hope. I feel like I'm not alone here. Anyway, it is good to see you. Uh, robot identity Train. issues. That's gonna you're be fun. You look hot. And your sound is kinda weird. Are you okay? I'm good, Anka. Thanks for asking. I haven't adapted to this body yet. And this is Commander's Child. Commander's Child? I was not expecting this. Train and you. Looks like my retirement days are over. <laughs> well, we know he's got good job security. If he's about to retire... I doubt this. Think you got some of your father's genes. You're like a bomb ready to explode. Return to the ship? No, I think we're good. Um, return to myth wait that was it we're done I thought I was supposed to be oh wow okay so I I, I was expecting to run around here killing enemies but it, on the plus side it looks like I found a ship kiosk so that's a plus okay so this is a fighter another fighter yet another fighter Actually, these look like they're related series. Oh, the tier level's different. Okay. There are a lot of fighters. This is a black op ship. Looks like these aren't loading in properly anymore. That's weird. Yeah, so all... Oh my god, that's an X-Wing. I love it. Okay. I need more systems with ship markets. I think that's we we definitely need more options there. Okay, what's going on here? Components Okay, not the components I'm looking for. I want ship components. Oh, nope. Services. I haven't seen this before. Oh, that's like the one on the dock. Okay. Uh, we don't need this yet. That's mostly when you find or buy something. Okay, this looks familiar. Okay. So it said we have to return to the Land mythical system. Extracted. 
so I guess I was just completely useless during this entire mission, but at least we got it done. They didn't need my help after all. That's awesome. My future in this game is clearly very bright. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. system. Damn it. Okay, so let's go to the Calbo system. Okay, Please that I can do. The jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Destination reached. Okay, now we need to swing around a little bit. Let's scan. What the heck? No signal found in the system. Fair enough. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. I think this is actually going to be faster than trying to just swing around the station to the other side, weirdly enough. It always seems to take a while to do that. So I'll just warp back, and then we'll be oriented the right way. Okay. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. So it's the mythical system we need. There we go. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Game C, how's it going? Stopping by to say hi, then heading off to bed. It's pretty late here, and tomorrow is looking to be a long day. Hope you're well. I am doing fantastic. Folks, if you are not following KMC, she is a fantastic streamer. You must go check out. She's been a friend of the channel for a long, long time. I hope you have a really wonderful night, KMC. Thank you so much for stopping in. How have things been going for you lately, if you have a minute or two to uh, just keep us up to date? How have your streams been going? What have you been playing lately?
Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Okay. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. I don't feel you have to, KMC. If you need to sleep, take care of yourself first, of course. The next waypoint Just always good to see you. Crossed. And three, two, one. Destination reached. Haven't had a chance to stream much because of love of their life things. Some work and a few assignments are stacked. Yeah. Objective completed. Help the pilots next. All pilots in the system! Our civilian city is under attack! Please help! Isn't that your city? We need to help them. Drain is right. Let's join their battle. Okay. And where would that be exactly? Ah, there. Okay. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Been playing Fortnite in my downtime, though. Surprisingly hooked now. Very nice. Well, I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but there's definitely a reason it's so popular. So it doesn't surprise me too much. The important thing is that you're enjoying it, and it's providing, you know, your downtime with some fun and enjoyment, so there's that. They are slaughtering us. Oh, crap. Okay. Ships of your town. They don't have any chance against those military pilots. Well, fine. We'll destroy the military pilots. Sorry. Where'd he go? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Specific than just safe spot. Warp away and regroup. Okay, where exactly? like that unless with friends but the learning curve is surprisingly gentle and the quests now occupy the time you play i didn't know it even had quests what the heck that's pretty awesome I think every single one of them is on me. <sighs> More like achievements than anything else, but they boost XP. Nice.
is this target? It's down... solid rock. This is fine. If we don't stay as one, we don't have any chance. From now on, follow his command. To give orders to your squad, you must first choose the team you will order. Now press F1 to select Alpha Squad, then press F1 again to give a formation order to that squad. Alpha Squad. Attack All formation. formations have bonuses, and you will receive bonuses as a team. However, the maneuverability of your squad is as much as the maneuverability of the weakest pilot in the team. Now select Alpha Squad again with F1, then press F3 to break formation. Okay. Now we are going in. Follow him. Get back to the combat zone and just... Okay, so basically because I've told them break formation, we're gonna go back and kick their butts now. Okay. Calibration module activated. Weird, but completed. let's go with it. Waiting for the thruster input. Well, I mean, I guess we kind of warped directly through the rock to get in here in the first place. So just warping out again makes as much sense as anything. Get your butt back here. So much for the follow. -up. Anyway, let's not hang around any longer. Take us to your house. It will be better to hide there for a while and plan. That's not going to achieve my goal of exploring very well, though. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, came see this. This game is the work of one single guy developing the entire thing. We have to cut him some slack. It's a really amazing game when you take that into account. Uh, da, da, da. you can activate warp drive with B and warp to the planet Earth. Alternatively, you can select the planet Earth from the scanner. So where is Earth? It's right here. Calibration module activated. 
Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. All right, let's go, folks. I assume we have to go back down to the surface. It's not quite as seamless as No Man's Sky, but it's better than you might expect. Yes, uh, yeah, he would be um, he would be John Corvus. I wouldn't expect that one single guy doing the development all on his own, especially when English is not his first language. He's a Turkish developer. I really doubt he has the budget or the contacts to get a full vocal English cast. Fuck, you've been followed. Don't get close to city or they can locate us. Lure them outside our border. Uh, okay, uh, where exactly do we do that? Destroy enemy ships before they locate the city, because that's not going to be terribly obvious. Leave your ship at the spot I marked for you. I think they put a tracking device on the ship. That's awfully close to the city. You don't think they're going to fly by and notice? Okay. Landing gear deployed. Now come here on foot, we have things to talk. I like the atmosphere entry. No Man's Sky seems rushed for the atmosphere height on planets. Well, I mean, the planets are pretty small in No Man's Sky, let's be fair. This is gonna take a while, sorry folks. Now I'm suddenly glad they didn't put us a reasonable distance away from the city. Of course, there is a direct line of sight to the buildings of the city, so I'm still not entirely sure why we're bothering to park so far away. What the fuck is that? That's a thing. Obviously. No! Run! Oh, I see. It's just far enough away that they can dramatically blow up the city and not kill me. <laughs> that's actually, I have to, I have to say that's not bad. <laughs> It is, it really is. <laughs> okay. Talk with Drain. That's our robot friend, by the way. My condolences for the loss of your city and its inhabitants. Thank you. I didn't like this backwater of a town anyway. Wow. Where are we? What is this place? This is Arkansas Town. The last Earthling settlement your father founded before he died. What are the next steps? Unfortunately, we had to abandon your ship during our escape. What? We've sent word to the ship reclamation corps who informed us that they will confiscate and repair it. That's not good. I spent money upgrading that thing. Not much, because I didn't have much, but still. I'm sure we can find a suitable ship for you here. Enka was waiting for you to wake up. Let's go find him. Okay. 
I am not happy about that development, but I guess that's just how things are. On the other hand, I was looking to get another ship, so maybe they've got something in mind that'll let us choose one a little more suited to our planned trajectory, because I really want to be... You know, I've joined the the Freelancers Guild, but also the Explorers Guild, and I really want to focus more on the Explorer side. So having a ship that actually supports that would be pretty nice. I just hope that I get to keep the stuff that I had in my cargo bay, because I had a really nice scanner picked out for it and everything. Sorry about your town. I know it is hard, and we will get your revenge, believe me. Do you know who was responsible? Morthus. It is widely known that whenever Earthlings are slaughtered, the Morthus are somehow involved in one way or another. Do you know where we can find a ship around here? No need to find one. We have one already. It is in much better shape than your previous vessel. A pure fighter-class ship. That's not what I want. No, thank you. Get inside. Get your ship. And here I thought maybe they would give me an option. Oh. Okay, I suspect I was supposed to go the other way. Well, let's take a look at it. Ah. No, this ship does not look great. It looks like a fighter. I want an explorer. It was your father's ship. Now it belongs to you. What are we going to do now? There are many things to do. I'm not sure where to start. We need a planet to settle and call home. I can go find the one. The planet we will find must be arable, with natural resources able to sustain us. We'll this is more ships. like what I want. Many ships. So we'll need to find good engineers or train them accordingly. We also need to build stations. Last, but certainly not least, we need soldiers, weapons, and ammo. Hmm, you weren't kidding. There sure is no shortage of things to do. I know it may seem like it's a lot, but if we start with time, maybe steps, and persist, these goals will be achievable. First of all, we need people to fight for you, and for that, you have to have a reputation in the galaxy. Let's settle this first. How do we do that? There is a slow way and a fast way to this. The slow way would involve you helping people throughout the galaxy. This will gradually build your reputation. And resources. The faster way would be generating propaganda for you and our organization. How can we do that? That sounds kinda cool. We cannot. Luckily, I do know <laughs> of someone who can do this for us. There is a radio broadcaster that has many dedicated Earthling followers. She is very famous and respected in the business. Okay. Are you talking about the big girl? Yes. Her real name is Alasia. Her last known location was a studio operating out of the Lion's Pirate Station. If she hasn't relocated again, that is, we can go there and make contact. Oh, I hate pirate sectors. I do share your dislike of them. Right now. However, the pirate zones are the safest places for us. I'd rather take my chances with a few teenage pirates rather than having dealing with council soldiers. Teenage pirates, wow. Okay, then let's meet with this so-called big girl. I'm adding Lion's station to your scanner. See you on board. Uh, okay, mission started, the big girl. So let's take a look at the ship. It's a little bit dark here. Okay, I have to admit, if I have to have a fighter, at least it looks pretty sleek. Looks like something out of Elite. I'd prefer more of the X-Wing style, which I know this game does have, but... Um, let's take a look at it. Okay, 
honestly, this is definitely an upgrade. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't have any scanners. Upgrades. Aim engine. I don't think we even have any probes. Wow. Using the terrain to hide the geometric destruction. Yep. I I'm generally pretty impressed with this. I mean, it's pretty clear that it's a guy that is doing this on his own, but he's doing a really good job. It's better than a lot of other games that I've played that have higher production values. Damn it, no cargo. Crap. Go to the Strinda sector at the Etox system and dock at Lion Station. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see. We need to do a little bit of leveling, too, though. Um... Bump up the endurance there a bit. Okay. Well, the <laughs> uh. <laughs> so that wasn't the button that I thought it was, but it looks like I managed to not crash the ship, so there's that. Let's get out of here. Head back up into space. Okay. So, where was that again? We have to go to the Strinda sector at Etox system. Etox. Damn it, I need probes. I'm a member of the Explorers Guild and you give me a freaking fighter. Wow. Not sure I love this cockpit design either, honestly. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. It kind of feels like it's constraining my field of view a little bit. Although I like the lightning on the front of the ship as I'm gearing up for warp. That's pretty cool. I do like that. That's a ways away. I wonder if we can get there direct. No, we can't. All right, then. Let's see how we can step our way over. That's quite a ways away. Can we go there? We can go there. Please All right. approach to the jump point to start jump process. We'll get there. We will get there. Might take a few jumps, but we'll get there. Thank 
please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. War N3, your two, cargo hold was scanned by a destination reached. Caution is Oh great, now we have to be embarrassed because they know how broke we are. Okay, Setida, that was where we were going, at least as a way stop on our route, so, uh, let's see, I'm just going to warp over to escape route, and then we'll come back, calibration module activated, calibration completed, waiting for the thruster input, yeah, I think my engines are better in this ship than in the last one. It seems faster. Okay. Now, we want to head back to the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay, uh, no, we need this open atlas. That was, oh, actually it's right here. Etox, that's the one. Ah, we can do it, excellent. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Nice, I thought we would have to jump a few more times. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. There we go. Etox. Okay, so now we want to go to... Oh, the Mercenaries Guild is here. So if we want to join that, that's cool. Uh, but what was it we wanted? Go to the Strinda Sector at Etox system and dock at the Lions Station. Okay, so that's these guys over here. Brion. I want the station though, not the planet. Come on. System locations, Lion Station. There we go. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. 21 AU. That's going to be a little bit. Even with the faster ship, I'm sure that's going to take a few seconds. Oh, that is...
is quite a bit faster, though. That is so much faster than the last ship. That's impressively fast. I think that's got to be in the neighborhood of twice as fast as the other one. So in that sense, at least, this is probably a better exploration ship than the first one was. Okay. Holy crap! Look at that station design! <laughs> Docking request. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. Landing gear deployed. Okay, next question. Where the heck... Oh, is it in there? Interesting. Okay. I kind of love the design of the station. It looks awesome. Singular soups. We need vending machines with soup. Why is that only a thing in the future? Drink till you drop. Ultimate taste. 80% energy. Health kits. Ah, uh, they still have books in the future. That's good news. City of Lions. Components, huh? I don't know if I really need that stuff right now. I need my ship back. Oh, up there. Okay. Okay. Now, if they have a ship vendor, we've got turrets over there. Services. Now, we'll look around after we talk to her. A ship this big has got to have some kind of uh, ship vendor. We'll figure it out. Wow. Not only are there still books in the future, there are multiple vendors of them. That's pretty nice. I like that. Up to date. Good to know. Are you a Oh my god. I have to blink to make sure my eyes aren't playing tricks on me. You are Anka. No. Your eyes aren't playing tricks. It is an honor. What can I do for you? Explaining situation. Who are you? He is son of Commander. <laughs> the Commander. Wow. Some big shit is going on. So what do you think, Alicia? Will you help us spread the propaganda of our organization? Sure. 
You wouldn't believe how long I've been waiting for this moment. I have dozens of preparations for this. Weapons, ammunition, ship designs. You can find all the templates here. Okay, KMC, thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Folks, make sure you're following KMC if you're not already. I'm just going to give a quick shout out again. That's me, bot. The, oh, hang on. There we go. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so make sure you're following KMC. She's an awesome, awesome streamer. Ah, uh, you're very welcome. Have a fantastic night, and I will hopefully catch you again soon. Uh, these are great. We'll make sure we use all of them at one point or another. Great. What exactly do you want me to do? We want to announce to everyone that we've gathered the Earthlings under a single flag once again. I tried to do my best in this regard. However, the scope of my radio broadcast is very limited. If we want to reach all systems, planets, we must first expand the broadcast area. That doesn't sound like something any of us is capable of doing. Do you have anyone in mind? I had a technician that I worked with for a long time, named Gold. However, he was captured by the Morty some time ago. If you bring him to me, I'm sure he will set up the whole infrastructure in a very short time. Okay, where can we find him? He was at Greenwatch House, forced to establish station infrastructure there. I'm sure he is still there. We need to find Ikrin Watchhouse's blueprints to organize an attack. After we clear the space, we can get in and get cold out of there. This particular mission, the dialogue doesn't match the written text at all, and it's kind of messing with me a little bit. <laughs> we'll need to find the blueprints for that warehouse in order to organize an effective attack in free cold. That should be doable. But first, we need to gather more information about the building. Therefore... We must go there as a visitor and analyze the defense systems. Knowing what to expect is important. In that case, I'll go in as a visitor. Now, do I want to do this, or do I just say, Anka, I think you just volunteered yourself for this job. Unfortunately, I can't. They catch me the moment they see me. I'm still on the most wanted list. Ah, they're employing that age-old trick of the trade. The illusion of choice. Okay, in that case, I'll go in as a visitor. I think so, too. We should take advantage of it, Why you're not popular yet. Okay, then. First, we are going to Ikrin Watch House. You dock your ship at port. Then go to the administration and ask something. While doing this, watch your surroundings. How many ships do they have? How many soldiers are defending the building? Check if the turrets are active. We will hide on the ship with anchor. Then come back to the ship. We'll get out of there and make a plan. Okay, we have a plan. Let's move. Like I said, I've been waiting for action for a long time. Please don't die and take this away from me. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I can preserve my own life for the sake of your dream now any any hope of finding a ship vendor here let's see All right, guys, I'm going to be going a little bit later. Uh, on Fridays, I tend to end around 6. It's just after 6 now. Today, I'll be ending around, well, sometime between now and 6.30. Uh, that's components. Turrets, more components. Um, but since I'm going to keep going, it means we're going to have to take one more break, and that's going to be starting in about 2 or 3 minutes or so. So let me just see if I can find anything more interesting around here to check out. This seems like an awfully big station, so there's got to be stuff of interest. Also, let me check my... Have we leveled up at all? 
Oh, oh, my first adventurer level. Beauty. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get those, and then we got another pilot level too. It's only 10 a.m. my time on Sunday. Wow. Bink, it's good to see you. What's going on? That text versus voice line stuff sounds weird. Yeah, I'm sure they'll get that updated. This is this is a game that's made by one guy, so you gotta cut him some slack. It's pretty amazing for that. Let's bump up that alertness, and then we'll get reflexes up in par with these as well. My money doesn't seem to be going up very fast. I mean, I guess there's no specific reason I actually have to actually stick with the uh, the storyline. I can go and get other missions and then come back to some of these story missions later. New Zealand and just trying to finish Wall World. Nice. Hippo played it Thursday and Friday, so you've now spent nearly 18 hours in it. I saw Hippo play a little bit of that. It did look pretty fun. I like that he's got some ambient stuff going on here as well. Is that it? The station is not as big as I thought it was. Wow. Okay. Well, this is probably a good point to take that break, so I'm going to get up and move around for a few minutes. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or something, now's a real good time. I'll be about three and a half to five, and then we'll play this for a little bit longer and see what's up. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No! <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by Guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that might require a little adjustment. <laughs> what have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. What the? Who? 
What? What is going on? Close. Holy crap, how am I not? We'll open the portal on your mark. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. Oh, no, he's getting away. Astrologist report that it. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm back. I was just reading up a little bit on how to get missions for the game, and it looks like Galaxy Web is actually how you do that. So, let's see. Um. Looking for a pilot to guide our minor fleet, destroy Zunder gang squad. BK Plajo must die. Tracking ships, no input. Galaxy trade, so that's for merchants. That's pretty decent pay, and it's in Etox, so we don't have to go anywhere. Level 7. Minor fleet protected while mining. He contacted the LFP panel for this. I can find the minor fleet in the asteroid field at Etox in the solar system. Okay. Let's give that a shot. And let us take advantage of the fact that we've now got a pure fighter ship. Look, deck. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is fine. That'll buff out. It's it's not a problem. That's okay. Asteroid field. <laughs> Thank you, Ultra. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Uh, okay. Where did they put that asteroid field? Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay. I was typing that as you said it, yes. Jim Racer, by the way, folks, Jim Racer is a... That was a weird message. Ship at orbital gravity? What? Whoa. 
we seem to be getting there so i'm not going to worry too much about that message but jim racer is another amazing streamer you should all go follow him and check him out and check out his content he does a lot of racing games and he plays a fair number of sci-fi games as well so uh, if you like my kind of content you're definitely gonna enjoy hanging out with him he's been a friend of the channel for a very long time now have to go How enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you so much hammer have a fantastic night and a weekend yourself, and I will catch you again soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. Okay, now, I th don't think we're actually tracking the right mission here, so let's make sure that we're doing that. We want to track this one. Go to 121 and guard Minor Fleet. 121. Is that the wrong place? Oh. <laughs> Damn it, it's out here. Nope, that's wrong. We want that. It said asteroid field, so I assumed, silly me, I assumed it would be at the asteroid field. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay. Been lurking for a bit. Seems like an interesting game. I'm having a blast with it. It's a lot of fun so far. It's got a lot of stuff going for it that I always kind of wished that No Man's Sky would have. And Elite Dangerous would have. And just basically all the other space games that are out there. This has done some really unique stuff that I'm really like, enjoying. Yeah, it did, and um, Quietus. I haven't checked it out yet, but it looks fun, too. I like the idea of flying around in Sentinel ships repurposed for your own use. I especially like the idea of taking down Sentinel capital ships, even though the concept of a Sentinel capital ship is a little bit scary. Missions are always optional. You never have to do them. You're here for the contract. These pirates go where this work. Please do your work then. I will do my best, sir. Would you point me at them, perhaps? Oh, never mind. There they are. Okay, you know, combat's not so bad in this thing.
Holy crap! Once their shields are gone, this thing just absolutely shreds them. Now, if I could just have this with an exploration package, please, that would be great. That'd be pretty nice. Get ready for more! If you insist. Shield recharging. Oh my god, I don't even need to tear down their shields. Holy crap. Starting to warm up to this ship a bit. <laughs> Never been a fan of unlocks. Like a famous Irish famous Irish comedian said, I unlocked the game in the store with my credit card. I okay, that's fair, but a lot of people do enjoy them. I like unlocks myself. I think it can be pretty fun. Now, I would like to hop out here and see what we can see with the, um... Okay, never mind. I guess there's no looting of enemy vessels then. Ah, now see that. that that's a healthy balance we got going there. This is giving me faith that I did indeed make a good choice taking on the freelancer stuff as well as the explorer stuff. I still have to find a place to get a good exploration ship. But this is going to let us make some cash. I like that quite a bit. Now, do we have anything else in this system? Etox. That's a big payday. That's three stars. That looks like it might be kind of dangerous. Destroy Babel Set Gang Squad. Let's see. Oh, that's why. It's level 11. That's a bit above my pay grade at the moment. as a pilot again? Okay. Oh, and I get a new pilot perk for alertness. Time diversion. Warp speed improvement. More energetic. Less energy. Reduce the energy used by ship perks. Experience. Ah. Uh, 
Tier 2, give 25% more experience. Yes. I'm taking that. And I still have points to distribute. Let's do... We'll do this. Shoots enemies behind your ship and disrupt their pursuit. Repairs ship's armor for 0.2% of maximum armor every second. Nice. I was really hoping there would be more local ones, but okay. Um... do this one. I'm assuming that the fact that Etox is system 121 and Mariposa is system 120 is an indication that they're in relatively close proximity. It's probably not true, but we'll see about it. Um, where is... There we go. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. And that's almost 50 astronomical units. No wonder it took a while. It's still getting there pretty fast. Like, it goes 10 AU a lot faster than the old ship did. I'm, I'm still fairly certain it's about twice as fast. Or reasonably close to it, anyway. So what does everybody have planned for the weekend? I will not be on tomorrow or Monday. My new schedule has me streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So I'll be back on Tuesday. Not sure what we're going to play yet. Probably Breath of the Wild, though. I really want to finish Breath of the Wild so that we can be ready for Tears of the Kingdom when that comes out. And we made some really awesome progress in Breath of the Wild yesterday. I've now completed three of the four Divine Beasts. Technically speaking, I've actually completed the fourth Divine Beast as well. We still have the Camel to do. But I did all the interior stuff of the Camel. I just have the battle left to do with uh, the Mecha Ganon thing the super electrified dude so we need to kill him which means I need to prepare a little bit in advance so over the next few days I'll probably do some off stream play of Breath of the Wild and just try to learn the combat techniques that are apparently necessary to beat him so we'll see how that goes I have never played the Stanley Parable no I've seen it played quite a bit it looks pretty good thank you so much for the follow I really appreciate it Stargate. And we want to go to Mariposa. Oh, it's further away than I thought. I can't get there directly? You're kidding me. How about Anher? We can do that one. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process.
Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. The demo is actually a totally different level to the game. Uh, one of these days. It's not high on my list of priorities. It looks like a really, really good game, but there's so much coming out this year. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Outside base. Thank you for the save reminder. I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's see with this ship how long it takes to circle around to the uh, other side of the Stargate. Not long at all. I think we can put a stop to our warping over and warping back thing. Okay. There we are. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. <laughs> Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next way Hey Bob, is being how's it passed. going? N3, 2, 1. I think, honestly, reached. this year is just a sort of side effect of COVID. So many games got put off and delayed that now we're at the very beginning of a massive crunch of stuff just Warning. finally coming out. Your cargo hold was scanned by an unknown ship. Caution is advised. Yeah, I don't know that we have a whole lot to worry about. We really have nothing in there. Oh, we have this thing. Apparently. Weird. Okay, anyway. Um, they're probably not going to be too tempted by whatever we've got. That's our mission over there. We're just going to go do this one real quick. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Yeah, so the Stanley Parable, I've seen it played a whole lot. And it does look like something I would enjoy immensely. It's just... I almost feel like I've seen enough of it that there isn't a whole lot of point for me to prioritize playing it. I will play it eventually, I'm sure. It's just something that I don't think I'm going to get to very soon. There's so much other stuff out there that I would prioritize over it that it's hard to imagine when that might... Warning. Warp drive disrupted. You'll have to excuse us for stopping you. My companions and I are confused as to how you transported such precious cargo alone. We're here to relieve you of that burden. Foolish. Especially because I have no cargo. What are you even on about, sir? None. At all.
think you meant four ships, Bob. Okay, so this is a really good combat ship, but that doesn't mean it's actually invulnerable. Good to know. I was referring to the fact that I had just blown one up, Bob. <laughs> okay, guys. I would love to retry that, but I think we're going to save the game here. And we're going to have to go raid. It is about time for me to wrap up and get out of here. I'm running a little bit later than I was planning to. So let's see who's online. Still getting used to our potential raid targets for this timeline. Or time. You can tell I watch a lot of sci-fi. Uh, for this time of day is what I meant to say. So let's see who's on. Uh, let me see... Not as many people as I know this time. Interesting. Metwick is on, though. He's playing Darkest Dungeon. Oh, the Hunter Wild is on playing something called Meet Your Maker, which I'm not familiar with. Michelle Boyd is on. She's playing The Last of Us. L Bell is on. We've never raided her before. I've gotten to know her more recently through Navara's stream. She's really awesome. She's playing Goose Goose Duck. Hecky May is playing Retro. One of the Mario games, it looks like. I don't think we've ever had a chance to raid Hecky either. Smashley's playing Path of Exile. Cheebs is on. She's just chatting. It's been a long time since we raided Cheebs. That's pretty cool. I think that's about it for today. So if any of that sounds good to you folks, I'm not sure where I'm leaning myself, but uh, let me know in chat if you have any recommendations, and I will take that under advisement. This rotation? No, that's just confusing. So let me go over that again real fast. Um, if I can even find them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jim. Hey, Aaron, Laura. Thank you so much for the shout out there. I appreciate that. Uh, we had Metric with uh, Darkest Dungeon. We had. That's a weird distribution. We had Metric, we had The Hunter Wild with Meet Your Maker, Michelle Boyd with The Last of Us, L, L Bell with Goose Goose Duck, Hecky May with a retro Mario game of some description, I don't know which one, Smashly with Path of Exile, and Cheebs with Just Chatting. Martinis? I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. You know what? I think we might go with metric today. Let me just get his channel loaded up here. Just also make sure I'm spelling his name correctly. He changed it recently. Okay, we're that yeah, we're gonna go raid Metric. So he's a fellow Canadian streamer. We've known him for a long time. He's raided us a number of times while we were doing the nighttime streams. So let's return the favor now and go check out how Darkest Dungeon is treating him. And I will be back on Tuesday, folks. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your weekend, night, day, evening, whatever. And uh, I will also get you actually the uh, raid call. 
Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy that raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Metric's channel, see what's going on with him, and I will catch you again on Tuesday. Probably for Breath of the Wild. It's always possible that we'll uh, end up playing something else. But with my new schedule, having only three stream days a week from the five that I'm used to, I I'm going to probably try to focus a little bit more on the games that I'm playing so that I can get through them instead of having everything as spread out as it usually was before. So we'll see how it goes. It's probably going to end up being Zelda, but that's always a good time. So hope to see you back here for that, and I hope you do have a wonderful rest of your weekend. So uh, yeah, I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now, folks.